right, so the pilgrims find themselves yet again in the burning city in more ways than one of Trevisetta, and uh, word has rallied forth uh, many downtrodden folk and criminals and prisoners to his cause to perhaps uh, rise up in his name and the pilgrims' name if things go awry and perhaps find a better life for themselves. They seem keen on doing so, um, thanks to some very, very nice rolls uh, after a very nice rest at a very nice tavern. Um, Yippee! The rest Yippee. of your plan involves uh, trying to find uh, Captain Arzier, correct? I believe so. We At have, some point, yeah, we have to do that. She gave us 24 hours mm -hmm. from the time... Is it till the end of today? Is that what this is? Yeah, basically, basically the end yeah. of today. Once the sun sets, your time is up. It's still midday, like Ooh. like early afternoon though. So you've still got a decent amount of time. That's some scary fairy tale mm. shit. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, yes, you do know kind of where Captain Arzier is stationed and listening to your earpiece, you could follow his patrols pretty easily as well since they're communicating where they're going and yeah. you can hear Captain Arzier giving his position as well. Okay, and when I hear it, do I only recognize it as his voice, or is there some level of psychic, like, different radio stations? Uh, you hear it as his voice. He's just ver making very objective, very calculated, just like, moving to position outside the yeah. city to patrol the western walls. And then, okay. you know, confirmation They never give other any men. identifiers? Mm -mm. Okay, cool. Um. Yeah, so are, are we waking up at the start of the day? I'm sorry. Oh, you've been awake. I, I'm pretty yeah, sure. Yeah, we've been uh, you, we, I we think you guys first thing in the morning went out to, like, rally people. Because you had to be asleep to get your... Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, you got your, your dream... Stuff to uh, sleep. ...the mm. little illegal Dropbox download from your bud, <laughs> and then we had to parse that. Okay, so then what's the stage right now? Where are we set? Uh, I would say probably you and Leyro <laughs> were still outside, kind of rallying people. Mm. So okay. you could easily we find Captain back. Arzier somewhere, kind of around Ooh. where you were. Is that what we want to do? I know the dragon is basically on our way here to see him, but uh, it's kind of more important that maybe we get him out of here so that they can talk proper without 700 people shooting arrows at her. Um, I think we should at least warn him of what she intends. That's true. We also have to be very discreet because the moment we bring her up or she shows up, everything is pinned back on us. The moment that she's here or people know that she will be here, everything that we're working on kind of falls apart. And the moment it gets to the Harrow, we'll never get our hands on it. Hmm. I think as soon as she arrives, stealth becomes much more difficult unless she provides a very big distraction. But... We could build up to it, too. I have a little headpiece here that lets me talk to the gods if I want to. So oh. maybe before she gets here, we could send him into some kind of scramble. After huh. we talk to him, of course. And we're certain that he's not... Um, <laughs> wow, uh, Buck, your voice is really loud from up there. Yeah, I, I don't think Buck would do it with them Sorry. with the rallying, unfortunately. <laughs> No, I, I was just there uh -huh. to provide uh, moral support and spells yeah. to buff charisma checks. We're, That's right. We're not close to me? the are ocean, we? are we? Wait, am I not here? Where? where I'm yeah, look at the look at the map. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you stay yeah. behind. Oh, we did stay behind. It. Hey. It's me. I'm sorry. <laughs> I thought it was. I thought this was when you guys had come back. I, I apologize. Go ahead. I think it's yeah. In conversion, we're on our way back. Yeah. We could go visit him, but I think we want to talk to you guys first. I think we oh, want to rejoin sorry. first and then go deal yeah. with the. Sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Do you have any thoughts on my statement before we magically teleport up there without having said anything to each other? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not entirely sure how much of this we can plan for. Arzir and Pavita are both wild cards in this situation, and we aren't entirely sure how Tahero is going to respond to any of this. My yeah. guess would be that they accelerate whatever machinations they have. I suspect he would rather confront his issues as it's... a dragon than as, a, oh, as an elf. Yeah. No, I, I hope they're not that far along, but we can't rule that out. I think, because these motherfuckers have been planning for way too long, and they're way too precise, we have two wild cards. I think the more wild we make this situation, the better. If we sow chaos through the basic gods, if we get our hands on the, uh, what's her face? The, 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 the best hand lady, we could send the other gods into a frenzy. 
And then when the dragon shows up, that could bring order. I see. So we put the city in uproar and make Pavita's yeah. entrance. Mm. I think that I mean, would be... I mean, it's better than everyone working against us immediately. That's certainly true. I think the city being in uproar at some point in the plan is a good idea. Yes, but, me too. Yes. I think it would, if nothing else, give us cover for a little bit more precision in our actions. I suspect we're going to need to target Tejero directly at some point. And, and we need to be fast, because we saw that fake version of him that was ready to meet us and kill us. So he's, he's a very defensive little gentleman mm -hmm. until he becomes a dragon, which could be a weakness. It'll be his first day. We can take advantage of that. That's true. But at this point, we're making plans for contingencies that certainly haven't That's happened true. yet. I just like to know where I plant my feet when I'm working on them. Of course. You can quote me on that if you want to, but I know you won't. Let's go. Perhaps somebody <laughs> should write a book about our exploits, but it's probably not going to be me. I can't write. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe so Buck yes. would be interested. Yeah. So yeah, you guys meet up with Buck and Fritz back in your room, your discreet room of which you've debugged. And uh, uh, yes. perhaps tell them about your plans. Debugged, rebunked. And <laughs> yeah. you may all together okay, go find Captain Arzir or have further discussion of your choice. Hello, we succeeded, we have an army, they won't fight, and we have extra plans. So to basically run it down, we still gotta talk to that god guy and maybe get him to talk to Pavita before she shows up because that'll be bad for us because we said that she's not gonna show up and that she beat us up. And um, so that's kind of our only safety net that we have until she shows up. To be fair, so maybe... I don't necessarily think that Pavita's appearance disproves what we said, that she didn't want to be here and she kicked our asses when we tried to bring her back in chains. It does bring it into question, and this man is very suspicious. Mm. In the inverse, that he suspects everything. Ah, yes. But, uh, well, he's also very yeah, suspicious. Yeah, so we're thinking this man works on rules and long laid plans. So we work on chaos in our toes. We can convince the gods to go crazy, and I can hunt down Lucia Baztan and give her what for. What do you think? The um, others are here now. Yeah, we're, we're all here. Yeah. Yeah. I'm here now. Um, yes. I, I mean, oh, I yeah, think... sorry. That was explained to you guys. No, I know. I know. Why, okay, okay. My question is, why do you need to beat her up now? Oh, just before everything, because half of her military controls this city. But won't that military be pissed if they find out you beat up their boss? Mm. I think point. before we make any yeah. schemes in this vein, <laughs> we, we could, should come... We should talk to Captain Arzir, because I rather mm -hmm. suspect he may be willing to hear us out, and uh, not to assume, but I don't think any of us have a storied military history and a knowledge of tactical plans for handling militias at this point. Arzir would actually be probably rather good at that. Do we think we're going to be able to find um, Arzir alone? I mean, I doubt he's going to be willing to turn on his... Um, superior in the presence of his subordinates. Well, um, I mean... He's seen how bad it is. It's worth a talk. The guards are I, typically I, spread rather thin I, when they aren't serving as our honor guard. It's entirely possible that Arzir is patrolling alone. Is there a chance mm -hmm. we can find that out by listening to the little uh, box? Oh yeah, I know exactly where he is right now. He keeps talking. <laughs> <laughs> I think he said out of perimeter. Huh. I mean, we could go... I mean, I think the best plan next is to go and find it. Now is oh. a really good time. Yes, we are rather running short. Pavita is going to make her entrance at sundown, whether we want her to or not. Okay, I have an idea that I really want to just act on and not talk to you people about, because I know it's a dangerous one. Uh -huh. But I really appreciate this character growth. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> what if we went up and messed with Lucia Baztan and then blamed it on Azir? Uh, because Azia is the, guard, the the captain of the guard, and she has an, a military that we don't want here. So if both of the forces attack each other, in the midst of that, we could unify them under something different. So probably not Azia, but maybe Pavita or uh, Tejero. You see, saying it out loud, it sounds worse. We just need to pick <laughs> a different straw my, man. My, my, fan, my fear is them... Uh, 
tar- both of them targeting us. I feel like maybe if we yeah. can talk to Arzir, we can we can maybe get him on our side. He, well, yeah, he, that, he has that, some, comes, that comes first. He has some amount of clout. Hmm. <laughs> Perhaps we should let it float away. <laughs> <laughs> there it goes. My wisdom. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Are to our ear then? I think we're I think we're looking for our ear. Word, you hear a voice in the back of your head. For what it's worth, boss, I thought it was a good plan. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So, all right, you guys are looking for Arzir then. Yeah. Yes. So you are can easily track him down. He's just observing kind of the western side of the wall over here. Uh, you catch him picking off very small, mostly harmless bits of blot that have uh, just snuck their way over the border, just kind of stomping them out here and there, um, like about half a mile away from the wall. And he sees you. And he greets you. Uh, good afternoon, pilgrims. I am sorry to hear that your mission did not go very well, but considering you're all in one piece, I cons- think that you can find that a win, considering how vicious Pavita can be in battle. Ah, uh, remarkably so. And you would know, wouldn't you, big guy? Uh, I, yes, we are. We were very close sparring partners uh, before she left. I knew her since she was very young when she was uh, first sworn in as dragon, actually. I see. Do you remember anything interesting about when that happened? He narrows one eyebrow. (laughs) I presume you are not simply here for small talk, so I will ignore that comment. Mm. What brings you to my patrol today? Word uh, methodically nudges every other party member. (laughs) Did Pavita um, ever speak to you about her difficulties and frustrations with the role that she had been placed in? Speak? No, never. But show. I I could see it in her face, in her body language, the way that most of her missions would become routine to her, like a chore mopping up the filth left over by a sick dog. Hmm. I could tell just by looking at her. She wanted more for her life. So I assume she never spoke to you of the matter of her successor? No. I see. Could I make a perception check really quick? Where are we? Can I Can I ask Ozzy something? Uh, no perception check needed. You're about, like, pretty far out, like, out here. Um, it was okay, good. quite We're a... unlikely to be being eavesdropped on, I would assume. Yeah. yeah, look, yeah that, that, if you want, I don't, I don't assume. I'm, just, yeah, I'm yeah. nervous. If you want, you can make a perception society. check yeah. to see if there, there's anyone around. It's probably fine. Really interesting <laughs> yeah, I was, I was going to ask something. I was going to yep. be like... Yeah. Okay, can looking I, like, around, you do see that there's, like, the few odd onlooker, but they're, like, way out of earshot. They're just like, oh, look, it's the, the captain of the guard and <laughs> the pilgrims talking together. Okay. So that would draw a little bit of attention, but they're just the odd glance here and there. It doesn't mm. seem like anyone's spying on you or anything. And they're far okay. off as well. Uh, uh, Fritz, you were going to do something. Yeah, I was going to... Um... Put my hand on his shoulder, like hesitantly. I don't want to spook him, and just put my hand on his shoulder and be like, "Did you care for Vahitha? I love having a star. Pavita. Pavita's. Um, did you care for Vahitha? Vahitha. <laughs> Guys, come on. I'm well, sorry. Of course my I, speech I, impediment is not. I care I'm for right all now. the people that I serve us here, in not only Trevisetta but Ilinti at large, including the dragons themselves. Did you ever find yourself caring for her happiness? Well, that is a a more complicated question. Uh, Of course, the answer is yes. Same as before, I care for the happiness and well-being of all of Alinti, but um, her duty, similar to mine, often does not afford her such luxuries. I myself know this, taking on the uh, night ship that I have. I'm going to ask you this, hoping you can trust us, because we both want to protect people. That's what us as the pilgrims are doing. That's what our whole thing is. And you want to protect people. Aye, very true. Would... Would you be willing to take your earpiece out and listen to us as yourself and not as a knight? 
Give me a persuasion check. I love that. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Uh, persuasion. Let's see. Oh ah! no! Do you do you have an inspiration? I have an inspiration. You do. Yeah. 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 <laughs> From resting at the special place. Oh, <laughs> oh no! Hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm looking up what spell I use to help where the thing. Hands ability, hands ability. It does. I have, a, I have a thing that I can do as well. But we've been in downtime. Yeah. Uh, enhance ability. I have enhance ability. Uh, I can. Gives you advantage, I think. Uh, yes. It. Uh, let's see. Which one? Is it? Eagle Are Splendor. Sure? I give you advantage on charisma checks. Okay. Well, count the advantage as separate from the inspiration <laughs> because <laughs> you would ideally be using that and then using your inspiration. Okay. Dice worked so far. So now am I using my inspiration? Uh, I don't know why it rolled dice, but. Oh. <laughs> that's. That's the temp HP. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, Sorry. ignore. That was me. Sorry. <laughs> uh, yes, you may roll again twice because essentially you're rolling the first time with the enhance ability and then the second time with your inspiration. Okay. So Very you generous. I forgot I have <laughs> a low charisma. That's this okay. is proof that you can still play a charismatic character with low charisma. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Don't let. Oh. Yeah! <laughs> Third time's the charm, <laughs> baby. Move, move, move. <laughs> Seeing the seriousness in your voice of someone whose reputation he heard was chipper and uh, happy-go-lucky, he considers this for a moment and indeed takes the earpiece out. You can see it's a small, like almost smooth-looking pearl and hmm. puts it into one of his pockets. Very well. Speak freely. Pavita wants I'm you to be her successor. Yeah. <laughs> his eyes go wide <laughs> right at into it. that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, like we're going right into it. All right. Well, I'm sorry. I, I don't know what we're dancing around at this point. <laughs> and she's very nearby. She's basically visiting today. We narrowly dissuaded her from attempting to storm directly to the heart of the palace, name you as her successor, and then leave. I don't think she believed us when we explained that there was no way Lord Tejero would simply let her do that. Oh. Yeah, in actuality, I think we would benefit from you talking some level of sense into her. Mm. Obviously, we have a lot of trust in you um, by giving oh, you this yeah. information in the first place. In large place. part because she has so much trust in you. Word takes his hand off the hilt of his dagger. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're all trusting here. <laughs> <laughs> he looks up and scans over the, the skyline of Trevisetta. Dragon. Well, that that is quite the honor. But I don't know that her word means much power to grant such a title, at least not officially anymore after her departure. Uh, has... Why would a person not have the right to pass on their own vocation? Oh, well, because... If it's out of her control, then she's not in control to begin with, and that sounds wrong to me. Mm -hmm. Perhaps that is exactly why uh, Lord Tejero wanted you to return her here. Perhaps something of hers is tied to her draconic duty. What do you mean by that? Well, I, I am not privy to the details, but uh, becoming dragon, it is a very secretive process. I am not one to make assumptions, but seeing as Lord Tejero wants her back, and seeing as it requires the dragon to be here to properly give the uh, powers of dragon to the next, perhaps the previous dragon is required in some way. Yes, I had a similar theory. But regardless, in any uh, proper, tangible sense, the official sense, uh, that is no longer her right, and has been agreed with the Lordship of Alinti, the burden of, of choosing the next dragon, whether they, they can even truly become dragon, uh, that burden uh, falls to Lord Tejero now. Hmm. <sighs> yeah. Lord Tejero uh, is choosing himself. He already has, and so did that dirty fucking turtle. Oh yes, the turtle. Uh, hmm. I have reason to believe that Lord Tejero's judgment on this is far from impartial, and I don't think he would serve Alinthi's overall best interests given the power of a dragon, which is why it seems that he's keeping this decision very close to the chest and not letting anyone else weigh in on it. I have another bad theory. Oh? 
look, if the if the ritual to make these dragons is based on the same thing that's attacking them, do you not think that there would be some sort of clause that lets whoever created them control them? Ooh. I think because if she's not in control of herself and she was narrowly able to escape, mm. when she comes back, if the hero has any level of control over her, she's not going to get away again, and he knows how to stop that. And if she needs to be there to transfer her power, we haven't seen two dragons of the same type in the same settlement ever, so I think she has to die. Uh, and I think he is prepared and excited for that. And well, she is walking straight into a very dangerous trap. Parts of that theory, I think, are correct. I, I'm not entirely sure Lord Tejero would be able to express direct control over her. If so, I think he would have done so earlier, rather than relying but on us. But we don't know the corners of the ritual that they cast to make this. This is true. It could be a binding, shackling thing. Maybe they made those shackles because they can't make them for us. They can only make them for something or someone like her. It might be... What uh, was that crystal? It might be optimistic to assume they don't have any for us. <laughs> My good man, Mr. World, you are making some very grave accusations, and yet knowing what I know of the reputation of the dragons before are the ones that retire usually do not hear from. I always thought that they simply wanted a simple life of seclusion away from all the fame and recognition. I've never seen a past dragon. Oh but no. Seeing as such... How did we not catch that till now? Such connections. I simply always thought in good faith that they wanted to live a life alone, away from the spotlight. Yeah, if you have good faith, you don't belong in Trevisetta. I am starting to realize that more and more. Uh, on the contrary, I think Trevisetta needs you now more than ever. For me? Wait, who are you talking to? Uh, anyone present, but... Yeah! Specifically, <laughs> Arzir. Regardless, all of this, I, I take very... With all the weight that is required, but I, I wish you could understand the intricacies of my knighthood better to truly know the weight of my words when I say... There is very little I can do besides follow my orders. So then, what are we supposed to do? Just leave Trevisetta in the hands of a guy who, for all we know, is is doing active harm to its citizens, giving him untold power on top of the political power he already wields? Well, we're not we're not leaving this place. We just need to work with what we know. Oh so. yes, uh, that reminds us of the other detail: uh, the sickness afflicting your citizens. It's not a plague. It's being done intentionally. And we seem poison. to have evidence that it is being done intentionally by leadership of the city to strengthen their workforce. Captain Arzir sighs and he lowers his head in a display of frustration and anger. Oh no. <laughs> he looks around him and he kind of goes to put his hand on his sword suspecting anybody. Doesn't seem like anyone catches his eye, takes his hand off his sword, and he looks to you all. There is not much I can do as a knight, but he looks up at the sky to see the sun peeking out from the dusty, musty clouds of, over Tre Trevisetta. Mm -hmm. In about 30 minutes, the guards like to go to their favorite tavern, and that often leaves the ballroom mostly unattended. I think that might be a good place to spend your free time on your last day here in Trevisetta. Hmm. I see. I mean, word's not really dressed for it, but... I might... Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that uh, they will let you in considering your uh, titleage, but uh, me as a knight, I... Unfortunately, cannot do much, but offer you my hospitality in our great city. I hope your final day proves fruitful, pilgrims. One final question, and I'm sure it's a moot point. You can't do anything as a guard or as a captain. What if you were appointed her, uh, what's the word, successor? Would that give you power, or does she even have the ability to do that? She, uh, he looks, he looks at you and seriously considers this question. He takes a hand to his chin and strokes it for almost like a full minute. He thinks on it, just as you pilgrims. 
I would follow my heart. Hmm. Instead of my orders. Whoa. Word thinks for a minute and kind of looks away from the party and looks up. Well, we should probably inform Pavita of at least a little bit of our timeline. And uh, do give her my regards. Uh, let her know that uh, I'm keeping up with her scars. She'll know what that means. Huh. Say that again? What was it? He's keeping up He's with keeping her up scars. With okay. Well, all right then. <laughs> I assume at this point we're, we're sort of parting ways. We've been directed to yeah. go to the ballroom when the guard is light. Um, Did we speak to her before? Probably. I'm going to have a stone of sending. After. We have a stone of sending, so I don't need to cast animal messenger today. Um, oh, good. Yes. Uh, yeah, I'm going to use it to cast sending to Pavita. Um, hmm. We spoke with your friend, the captain. He's recommended we find ourselves at the ballroom post-haste. He seems concerned for you and says he's been keeping up with your scars. I think that was the first thing, right, guys? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, good. Um, <clears throat> we also have some other concerns about various dragon-related things. We'll explain when you get here. Please don't crash through the roof if you can help it. It might be over 25 words. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, cool. You get a you get a sending back. Very well. Just a running joke me and him, him had when we were training together. I will try and meet you discreetly when I can. Say the word. Huh. I'll put on a disguise. Great. We successfully defused that particular problem. <laughs> All right. I guess we're going dancing then. Hmm. Something like that. So, you know, mm-hmm. uh, the way I'm looking at the situation, the odds of Pavita walking away from today or tomorrow, the day after, is a lot slimmer than I think a lot of us would like to accept. Mm. And when it comes down to it, if, if my hunch is correct and Tahero needs her, to become something worse than he already is. I hate to be the one to say it, but if we step in, I think her death could be on our hands. Mm. If it's safer for everyone. Well, let's call that very far down the list of potential plans. <laughs> it's something we have to think of. Mm. It, it It's not off the table. I hate to be the one to bring it up, but well, I would be surprised if they didn't have a contingency. I'm sure that dragons that live dangerous lives might die unnaturally. But by the end of it, as dark a situation as it could be, at the end of the day, Elinthi, Elinthi will leave Pavita alone. Hmm. Dark. I'm sorry. Look, it's it's a rough situation. We're basically going to war. Yes. You can't walk into a chess game and leave with all your pieces and a victory. It is very difficult. Thanks. Yeah, sorry, jeez. <laughs> so you guys are heading up to the ballroom. I guess. I guess so, yeah. And uh, you are recognized and let in. Uh, and just as described by Arzir, it's mostly empty, both of guards and of uh, kind of attendants as well. Uh, mostly an off day, it seems. And yeah, it's a mostly empty room and looking around, it doesn't seem like much is out of the ordinary. Is this like, is there like people in the ballroom, like dancing? Is there like a party going on, or like we just standing in an empty ballroom a party. in the castle? Not necessarily a party. Just a few people, kind of just chatting and talking and using the space just as a, like a hangout place, and mm-hmm. just it's like the, getting the local baker's convention of twelve people. <laughs> yes, <laughs> and uh, just like soon as you enter, you seem to get a tugging, uh, Buck. You get a tugging mm-hmm. sensation from your side from an unseen source. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Mage hands. Hey. Um, mm. 
You look around. Hello? You look Hello? where the tugging came from. There's nobody there. All right, you good luck. Playing, what? You're not playing like a trick on me or nothing, are you? Because I, I could have sworn uh, I felt uh, like something <laughs> tugging at my poncho, and I just now and your poncho. Did you get it yeah, caught on something? Correct. No, that's not me. That that wasn't me. Do you have anything in your pockets? What, what, uh, yeah, let me just rummage through oh, a receipt here. For God's then... sakes. And <laughs> you... I know who it is. You see... <laughs> I, I can guess who it is. A very familiar fey boy. Boy, a true yeah. sight lantern would have helped Yo. us out with this. We didn't need the help. <laughs> out in Our the shadows, uh, Liam reveals himself, but kind of keeping himself small, and he's underneath a table. You can see that he was tugging at your leg, Buck. Hey, Stop Shame them. you lost your old cart. That thing is comfy. <laughs> oh, you dirty rap scallion. Welcome to Trevisetta. Yeah, so uh, I, I saw, I was spying on you. I hope that's okay. You told me to cause trouble and stuff. And uh, looks like you're you're in down for some mischief, yeah? Yeah. Perhaps a little. Something like that. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, so <laughs> I'm a little been in a bit of trouble right now so there's some i i snuck into this place and uh i'm, I'm kind of like running low on my my invis and it only really works in like dark corners and stuff it's uh i'm working on it but um i heard you were you were starting like a like a revolution and stuff yeah pretty much <laughs> almost exactly just a little one I what want it. Like, yeah, like a tiny <laughs> a little right. bit for fun welcome to the club <laughs> yes nothing embraces the fey roots like a little anarchy <laughs> and that's exactly what we need right here. Everything is too planned, and it smells rotten like the dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, but uh, uh, in exchange, uh, c could you maybe, like, help me out of here? Oh, even if you do, uh, I've been doing a little bit of sneaking around. Like you said, uh, kind of uh, uh, ticked off a few guards I hit on. Um, but Whoa. I did discover something they really didn't want me to see. Uh, All right. I'll show you, but only if you help me out of here. We know exactly how to help you. We've done this two to three times before. <laughs> Buck, broaden that poncho. <laughs> uh, I'm, like, uh, here, I'm, just... not, I'm not getting under that smelly, stinky goblinoid's poncho. Uh, come on, I, I washed okay. it like maybe, oh geez, Don't what was that? Two, when was the last time you washed three? it, actually? We, well, we were, at the, we were at the river. like. Oh, yeah, what was the last time we were in a body of water? Yeah. That, I think, answers the question. It's like really durable, so it doesn't. This need is to be why feathers are superior. Press the digitation. Press the digitation. I cast unstink. That <laughs> does. That does. How press the digitation works? He you just unstink one spell me. That clean stink. Yeah. He just uh, snakes his way under <laughs> your poncho and is tugging on a few of your hairs just to try and uh, okay, hang on. Just, uh, it was either that or I waste my highest level spell slot on a polymorph, and I think this is better. <laughs> no, it's just gonna. Uh, so, Buck, you, what do you want to smell like? Uh, cinnamon. Yeah, like it, apple cider. I, I, I think I can do that. That's like apple cider without the apples in the cider, right? You're right. I mean, uh, okay. Sure. What is the smell you'll get, of one you'll hand get close clapping? Up. I love that we did this. I was gonna offer my book bag, but this works. He's, I don't think he's that teeny weeny. He's he's uh, yeah he's a. Biggie, I've got like a little boy. messenger bag. I don't he's, think he's like no, baby he's like, sized. He's, he's like four feet oh. tall. Yeah, oh. he's small, but not like that small. Oh, he's buck Liaming it. Mm -hmm. yeah, he's Liam that's... bucking it. So as oh. you are sneaking him out under your poncho. Um, in smelling like cinnamon. Sm smelling like cinnamon. <laughs> He's kind of tugging and, and rummaging and moving about. Uh, he right. doesn't really know yeah. how to be under a poncho, under a big man. So, Buck, give me a performance check. <laughs> oh, boy. Hold on. As you are trying to walk out of this place with this little elf boy. Okay. I do have inspiration. I don't know if I want to use it here. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, yeah, let me just use it here. I'm going to... Hold on. Don't Control die. Again. <laughs> okay. All right. You kind of do a little bit of a weird shimmy that gets a few eyes from the guards and a few high, higher ups, some royalty, uh, including a few that you recognize was talking to the author of Lost and Adrift, and they're just kind of whispering, <laughs> like, Jingles. and you overhear, wasn't he or McAllister? Talking? Wasn't wasn't he talking to the author? Oh, he has such strange fans, and. Uh, <laughs> 
It's a new dance. The author Sorry. just ran down the street. We never saw him again. Never yeah, saw him he, again. he just vanished. <laughs> it's He's a, it's a dance from Satya. This is a ballroom, ain't it? <laughs> they don't respond to you, but oh, you yeah. make it out with the odd look from the guards, and you're able to go to a, a kind of off uh, side of the building, and he just comes on out. And he's covered in a little bit of hairs that you shed. I'm sorry about that. I mean, you, you move he around holds up one finger. Much, don't. <laughs> Let's just forget this ever happened. Yeah. Okay. Unlikely. This is embarrassing. Okay. All right. So I was doing some some sneaking around, like you said, causing some trouble, and I got one guard to. Uh, well, maybe follow a little bit of my little ruse. Maybe I'll show it some other time. But I found a little secret. A very, very rich looking uh, lizard folk lady was uh. traveling down this way. Here, follow me. He leads you down a sort of alley to the side of the ballroom. And he puts his hands over the walls. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Uh, ah, right here. Uh, this thing, there's this this little brick just sticks out, and she held up a wand to it. I, I, I don't really know. I don't really have any wands on me, but uh, and then it opened into a secret door. Where do I you hold still up have my wand of House Bast hand? <laughs> yes. Oh man! <laughs> Heck yeah! Where can I get one of those? Rob her. Well, you just have to beat her up when she's trying to blow up crystals. Oh, hmm. Beat her up. Oh, you could just do that. Wait, it, it's, didn't you, you try to it. holier than thou me earlier about all oh, mischief's all bad and you should only do it at the bad people? I she's a bad person. Yeah, she's a bad person. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. Man, she is gotta... far less holier than thou or thy me. All Good right, one. well. <laughs> whatever. You do whatever it is you got there. You got me out of a sticky situation. I gave you, you know, something in return. So uh, I'm gonna go uh, do do a little bit of an anarchy, like you said. Uh, do it up, my friend. Yeah. You uh yeah. got a few more uh, friends. Not that I'm afraid to do it alone, mind. I mean, like 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 um, you know, us Fey, we uh we, we cause mischief wherever we go. But um, you, you have friends, right? Nah, this place is basically like a big loaf of unflavored bread. Um, we're working on it. We're building the mischief. There's no one in here right now. We're trying to flush out all the bland. Oh, uh, he wouldn't approve of the mischief, but I recommend steering clear of a blue dragon born in armor. He's one of our allies, but he's kind of the polar opposite of you. Oh yeah, yeah I saw him. He's kind of he's kind of handsome. Uh, he he wouldn't be like single, would he? I'm actually not know. sure. I don't think we learned know. that, uh, to be honest. Okay, okay. You don't that's really worth, strike me as his type, though. Uh, to be honest, I mean, I can't really say that for certain, I suppose. But why you you don't think a guard would wouldn't like fall for a for a cutie like me? Well, it's not. Oh, I'll I show mean, you. It's not that you're not. <laughs> yeah, okay. show me. Uh, you know what? Really I'm on board with this. Best of luck, to do young that man. If you want, but he, I just I don't know. He talked about honor a lot. Oh, you just watch. They'll be falling for me. Okay. Oh, he's gonna trip him. Liam's yeah, right. in a very different story than the rest of us. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, good luck, pilgrims. And he flies off. To Buck, just a word of advice: don't tell your crazy friends that you're friends with your sane friends. <laughs> They'll oh. bring that up in conversation, and you'll lose credibility. Okay. I mean, yeah. Sorry. Are we your sane <laughs> friends or your crazy friends? You're right in the middle. You're my lackeys. But we are your friends. All right. Yeah. I mean, well, you're somewhere just... between lackey Are we going to investigate family. the secret tunnel, or are we just going to stand around in front of the secret <laughs> tunnel waiting like for something to the... notice? There <laughs> was like focus, halfway focus. into the tunnel. There was like awkwardly focus. standing like five feet in the secret tunnel. Like, is anyone else coming? <laughs> Holes oh, in the sorry. wall, bricks and all. Oh, sorry, let me just sneak in here. So yes, yeah, so you guys head into the secret tunnel. The door secret slowly tunnel. closes behind you. And you are all engulfed in a bright arcane light and teleported as soon as the door hey! closes. Oh shit! Into uh -oh. That's another stuff. room. Shit! And oh, I'm gonna boy. need you to go oh, down. Oh boy! Scroll down. Oh, Go there we are. There Dungeon are. crawl! Oh, 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 oh. Oh. 
that scene setting music. music. Yes. You enter the teleporters and are transported to a room with architecture akin to that of the old Diosian ruins you found south of Polytrios. Oh. However, mm. somehow the one that the room that you stand in is in near pristine condition, aside from the odd crack and stain here and there. Ancient stones carved uh, in the walls with decorative runes in a foreign tongue that you don't recognize. Uh, what looks to be out of place, though, are the more modern conveniences that have been implemented. Flaming braziers that you've seen littering the streets of Trevisetta, uh, the steam pipes that you've seen decorating the factory buildings, and just as well, a long table with a few half-drunk mugs of ale and some odd papers here and there. I full drunk the mugs. <laughs> no. <laughs> Do you? I share with Fritz. <laughs> Whoa, I... <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> oh, yeah? Okay. I'm, a, I'm a bad influence, I promise. Okay. Can you let yeah. us know if they're... At least, at least let us know if they're Wait, cold or warm. Can so I make this interesting? We've learned something from this. What? <laughs> can I make this interesting? How interesting? <laughs> Word, persuade me to drink with you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. These are half drunk, which means they're fresh. And also, they come from crazy rich people who've lived here for a long time and probably have the majority of the wealth, meaning this is some pristine trash. <laughs> the word trash maybe sets you off. Best yeah, I give you like, uh, I'm all like, forgetting look at, trash. Look at the lipstick marks on the rim of the glass. It's like you're kissing whoever drank this. Isn't that good? I think I'm good, actually. More for word. <laughs> More for me. <laughs> All right. You guys should read that. All right, paper. we're in room one of You're going to take a yeah, swing. Yeah, I'll, I'll read the yeah. papers in front of me. Yes, I want to investigate. Okay, so uh, Fritz, you read the papers. It seems to be some very boring bureaucracy, pencil pushing, shipments, uh, hey, Lyra. potions go oh. here. <laughs> Thanks. Baztan militia go there, although it's strange that... The, papers of different companies are in the same location love to use my access to my teleport only perfectly preserved ancient ruin from another time to do paperwork and sometimes get a little drunk I'm only now learning that maybe reading would do me good now word <laughs> when you drink down oh. that ale <laughs> Oh, God. It is not the pristine ale. This is dollar store like typical low on his budget like shit that you'd find just laying around on the bottom shelf. All right. I finish it and I just put a, put the mug down with a look on my face like, uh-oh. <laughs> uh, a buck. Mm -hmm. Yeah, buck, you wanted to do something? Um, Can I cast my... or well, I guess maybe not cast isn't the right word, but I want to use my magic awareness. Magic awareness. Okay, within 60 feet. Let's see. How big is that? Um, let me... <clears throat> do, 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 do. 60 feet. Okay. Uh, you only get it are these like door are these like doors? No, no they're those just are, they're like I don't pipes. think there are any those doors are out of this room. Steam pipes. You uh yeah. recognize okay. them as steam pipes that have been strewn all throughout uh Trevisetta. Uh they power a lot of the factories and it seems to be uh -huh. powering some of the heating and some of the kind of uh just things around the place. They don't seem to be powering anything in this room in particular. Um but, you know, they might be connected to other rooms. Yeah, uh, the mm -hmm. flow of all the energy in here comes from those like lava tubes underground that we mm. found. Yeah, and the idea is that this building is clearly built on old Diosian like tombs or catacombs and has been refurbished to accommodate new technology. Exactly. Got it. So you feel uh, immense amounts of magic all around you. A uh, lots of oh, instances God. of conjuration. Uh, uh -oh. Evocation are coming from the torches to light the fires. Mm -hmm. uh, what else? The ever burning flame is good to have here. Uh, you can see that there is an immense amount of evocation and conjuration in the room, uh, room in the area to the right of you. <laughs> um, less so to the the west. I'm sensing that there's some type of room this direction <laughs> and it's so, go, there's a lot of magic coming from this direction but not as much from this direction over here so do we go to the right or to the west 
Uh, I guess it's your call now that you know. Um, it, it, do, do either of these little circles are they different in any way? Do I am nope, I able to sense just, whether they're different? you sense that these are one of the conjurations? They are teleportation circles, okay. preset and with predetermined destinations. I mean, You've seen these before, yeah. These yeah, are right. similar to the ones that your friends used to get from Satya all the way to Politrios, or not Politrios, uh, Tigamura. If I recall correctly, the last time we you we encountered a puzzle like this. It was in a room where we could see through the walls. This time, I'm going to advise that we don't split up. Oh yeah, yeah. I will. I will call a DM rule that uh, all of you tell either all of you teleport or none of you, just for simplicity. Sake. Okay. Yeah. Good. You know, a jackass of a wizard would just cast dispel magic and walk out of this place. I'm not sure we'd be able to walk out of this place if we dispelled the magic. This room does not appear to have exits. I don't mm-hmm. see any doors here. A, 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 a wizard would know how. So, um... I digress. <laughs> Buck, be our leader for this dungeon, at least the first choice that we make. All right, and then I'm going to flip a gold coin to figure out which Ooh. way I want to get right. <laughs> One is heads, two is tails. Um, heads. Head. So let's go... But what does that mean? But which one? Oh, right. okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, all right then. It's always the most difficult coin to okay. point of flipping a coin. You guys are going where you have to the decide west anyway. Gate then, or the west teleportation circle? Yeah. yeah. All right. You step in and you appear to the next room to the west, oh and inside you see dozens of warforged just <laughs> standing stationary. It seems as though that a lot of a lot of them are mostly pristine. A, a lot of a fair amount of them have wear and tear on them, but it doesn't seem like any of them are really "quote unquote" awake. The term used for uh, warforged that have activated and become self-aware. Because mm. we fought some, okay. except for one who mm-hmm. notices you. Oh. Actually, it turns its head oh, and can. speaks. Let me go. Let me find. Which one out of curiosity? This isn't a reprise of a new character, is it? Or an oh, old character God. from uh, where was that? You see that he's got quite a few cracks on him, wear and tear all throughout his Warforged body, including uh, one of the lenses of his eyes. And he speaks up with a masculine voice. Hey, you're not the mm. usual crew. What are you doing out of uniform? We, we just got back from a secret mission and so we haven't had time to change yet Secret. it's a new agenda of routine maintenance give me a deception check yeah nice. both of us <laughs> yeah. all right nice eh. fuck no what i didn't know <laughs> they're bringing in a new age of technology these old pipes we we're looking to replace them with something crazy all right fine but make it quick I got work. Uh, I got to work the night shift, and talking to you has already worn me out. Look, we're gonna work as quick as we can. We gotta gather a lot of data here. Can you give us an update about what's going on in this room? What we have to deal with in the next few weeks, maybe? In this room, this is just a storage area for the Warforge. Don't you know? You work here. Yeah. All right. Why are you being stored if you're sentient? Well, because I'm off the clock. This is where I usually go. You know, just as normal. Have you not been briefed I on this? Say- I haven't been briefed. We're walking room to room, so if you could give me the gist of maybe why you guys are... <laughs> what you're gonna do when you are moving around, what your schedule is. We gotta work around that. <sighs> Freaking new guy. All right, listen. Don't want This is incredible to watch. <laughs> yeah. Listen, the Warforged here, usually they're bought up whenever they're not awoken yet, but sometimes they do. And it's nasty luck, but I'm sure you'd be miffed if your favorite sword or hammer just up and started walking around one day. So I gotta pay off my debts of what I'm worth. Oh, jeez. Hmm. Oh. Yeah, right. Makes sense. It sucks, but nobody's figured out a better way. So, you know, I just gotta do it. Like I said, if one of your favorite tools started walking and talking and decided to not do what it was, you know, made to do, you'd be pretty upset too. I would acquire a replacement. (laughs) I, are you upset that you walk and talk? Well, no, it's pretty nice and all, and I'm looking forward to finally paying off this debt so that I can go and start my own business. How long do you have uh, before you do that? Well, I, I mean, I don't know specifics, but I mean, 
It'll be taking a the... while. I was a very expensive model. Hmm. Ah. And, uh, just for reference, what's your name? I don't have one. They just call me number seven. All right, number seven. Thank you. Is there anything I should know about hazards in other rooms that could be dangerous to people while they work? Uh, just lay off the pipes, all right? They're still fairly new and fragile. If you strike them with enough force, you're going to get a big old beam of hot steam blown in your face. And Look, my friend, I'm more than familiar. That's what we're here to replace, so they can get whacked a little harder without breaking the entire All right, room. well, thank you, because these things are so damn fragile. I swear if I sneezed at them wrong, they'd break. Uh, don't I know it? Taking Just notes take for future combat <laughs> encounters. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm literally just drawing like scribbles and stuff. Oh <laughs> uh, yes, yes. Words. Just on the back this of yes. mm -hmm. like writing. Yes. Yeah, well, all right. A little then. construction hat. All right. Thank you for your time. Enjoy yourself, uh, Miss Mr. Seven. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. I'm putting my goggles on. I'm in work mode. <laughs> I'm gonna throw a T in there. We call you Steven now. Huh. Uh, we're not really supposed to have names until we pay off our debt. Uh, what would you? What? Well. You're working you don't on it, so... Yeah. Oh, you don't owe us. We surely you have no moral and ethical considerations against how weird that whole situation is. <laughs> <laughs> what name would you pick? Yes, you must have thought about this. Do you have one planned? Just like your shop. Well, I heard that Warforge culture over in Politrios picks the first thing they saw when they awoke, so... I don't know. Buck Boss. <laughs> <laughs> no, go ahead. Sorry, that's uh, my name. Don't take it. Soup ladle? Ladle. It's got texture. It's, uh, yeah. Ladle. I mean, it could be worse, I, I guess. <laughs> all right, Super Adele. We'll see you later. <laughs> okay, but but I didn't see you, all right? And you didn't hear that from me. We, we're, we're kind of against company policy to start thinking of our name before we've paid off our debt. Of course. Ah, no Not to worries. worry. We're all in this Doesn't together, after all. Yeah. If you can't dream, then what are you working towards, anyway? <laughs> They're interns. They're unprofessional. <laughs> We'll see you later. <laughs> Bye, soup ladle. <laughs> Bye, ladle. Later, soup ladle. All right, let's get out of here. <laughs> I'm rooting for soup ladle. Dark horse of the episode. <laughs> Big fan of soup ladle. So you guys yeah, going no. in the north uh, portal? <laughs> no attempts to get him to change his name. Just soup ladle. Oh, I chose yeah, it. That sounds we, good. We don't want to harm his autonomy it's as a not person. Our, it's not our culture. You know, it's you not can, our you can culture, decide yeah. Name, to decide it, it's our job to free him not from his chosen name, but from his shackles. <laughs> Look, That's it. He's got That's enough soup forces ladle, working soup. against him and his autonomy. We're not going to add to them <laughs> by telling him he shouldn't name himself <laughs> soup ladle. <laughs> We shouldn't tell him how dumb his name is. Tell him to learn it on his own. It's uh, part of freedom. All right. So you guys go through the northern teleport, and I'm just gonna place you where you would show up, uh, so that you don't run. Um, hmm. We gotta pretend so that, that we we're don't do on what? places more often. You get so much info. So, I guys. think the 27 deception was doing a lot of the heavy well, lifting. I can, like, there. carry a box. <laughs> Show up here, Wait, and you guys eight, enter ten, a crazy. room. What looks to be a lounging area of some kind, perhaps a barracks filled with beds and an eating table with some playing cards and such. And you see a large, very large humanoid dressed in armor sitting at one of the uh, chairs. Very reminiscent of the guards that were uh, tending to Father Omar all the way back in Satya. Oh. Hmm. Are we supposed to be seeing- Oh, oh. oh there he is. And you can see that there are weapon racks and a chest uh, stored with some things. And this guard huh. seems to be dozing off at the table. Run me through how this big motherfucker looks again. Uh, he <laughs> is dressed in can full you see him plate, huge. He's like 10 feet tall, uh, humanoid of some kind dressed in full plate and does not seem to have his weapon by him at the moment, but is just kind of hunched over one of the chairs that barely sits him while he's dozing off, leaning over the table, just glancing over a few pieces of paper. Okay, my hunches were completely correct. There's only three beds here. This is a small crew of really scary motherfuckers. Well, it's also possible that this is one of many barracks rooms. Psst. What? What? Right, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do about the big yeah. guy? The fuck is oh. that over there? I'm pointing in out. that direction. Wait, guys, don't do... over here. What are you just gonna he open it up? up? Tell him something really cool. Yes, I am. 
<laughs> okay, well, I, I don't know if this is a... Oh, shit, you're gonna... <laughs> Word, give me... Yeah, He's not all right. No! Word, no! <laughs> 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 you know what? He's like I'll half let, well, when, over papers. <laughs> I, I'll, I'll, I'll take my chances. If he, if he looks like he's gonna wake up, wake up, can I just like sit down next to the, uh, like, like across <laughs> the table? Uh huh. <laughs> so oh, who are these okay. chumps? <laughs> so he's dozing off. Word as you're sneaking across the beds, one of them squeaks, and he starts to turn a little bit. And Buck, you immediately sit on the other side of the table, and he just looks at you. Hmm. <laughs> uh, uh. And I'll just like go look, start looking through papers. Mm. I just want to like make dad noises so he thinks that I'm just like another guy who's there. Give him a performance check. Oh, oh. oh form to make. That's oh. no, that, that, that wasn't me. I'm, I'm, I'm looking. For oh. Dang it! <laughs> you cursed it. <laughs> first, you uh, stole my twenty. <laughs> first, uh, word. We're gonna see what you open in that chest. Oh, that was just to look for traps. Oh, to look for traps. Uh, okay, looking around. No, like this is just a typical storage chest. Yeah, you know what? This <laughs> You wouldn't trap your it's, high it's school like locker? Room, so, yeah. yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, you want to open it? Yeah. You creep it open. And inside, you find da -da -da -da, chest number one. Here are the contents. <clears throat> it's just like spare underwear. Da -da 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 -da. Hey, that's not bad. I don't think I could benefit from a buckle. A, Let me... a buckler, five gold pieces, potion of greater healing, and two potions of mana. Okay, those are mine. <laughs> the buckle might like be good for Lyra. I do Pocket have them. a lot of first level spells. Hmm. I have. Sheila. And Buck, as you are looking over the papers, uh, you can see the guard looks up. Uh, you're not in uniform. Uh huh. <laughs> you don't actually work here, do you? Oh, he got that quick. We're in trouble. We gotta, we, we're supposed to be wearing the uniform in the barracks? This is my downtime. Of course, everyone's supposed to be in uniform in here. That's, that's his protocol. All right, I'll go put it on. <laughs> Sorry. He turns. Lara and Fritz, are you hiding? <coughs> oh, Oh, yeah, that fuck. would probably be smart. Oh, I'm under I the bed. I'm sliding. Can I, can I walk a different direction so he focuses on no, me? No, I'm yes. slid under the bed. You can. Uh, I would Fritz also Lera. like to slid under the bed. <laughs> Fritz, Lara, give, oh, me, both under the bed give me a stealth bed. with advantage, both of you, okay. since uh, Buck is distracting the man. <laughs> okay. Oh, my. Oh, wow. Boy. Why? With I'm better at stealth than I yeah. thought it was. With advantage, so you need to roll a second time. Oh! Oh no! That is <laughs> oh, as bad no. as it could have been. Wait, with advantage? Yeah, you can... I look at yeah, it. Okay. I oh, it's oh, it's with two. advantage. She rolled maybe. with advantage and she got a one oh. out of two. I think it literally didn't How occur to me to to like hide until he starts turning around. I get all my stealth by wild shaping into things that are stealthy. <laughs> so he starts turning his head and kind of tracking you, Buck, until a sudden bump against the bed is heard from Lara's <laughs> direction. And he turns around. Hey! You know, you're the pilgrims! You're not supposed to be here! I'm gonna need you all to <laughs> roll for... Dang it. Honestly, though, what a relief. Like, at least we finally got... Like, anytime we do a stealth mission like this, I always just get stressed <laughs> out. Because, like, it's gonna Man. go to shit eventually. <laughs> Any number of these guys that we kill is good, gonna be good for us and in the future, as long as he doesn't break, like, bash all of our skulls in, and then we all have, like, a concussion did, for the did final you, fight. Did you give that buckler to Lyra? Why would I have a buckler? I'm, I'm still over there. Yeah, we, we haven't I had thought, time to, like, transfer things oh. around. Well, because it, it would stop you from I'm getting taking hurt. Everything but oh, it's okay. No, there's, yeah, there's a few things I can do. This is happening as I'm still in stealth, actually. I'm, like, maybe on my way back. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, I, I will be tossing it to you. That would take an action. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. Yeah. You large don't... guard. Okay. <laughs> if if large, you do want to write you... uh, Layra that the buckler is in your inventory, just so I don't have to write it down. Sure. I'll take everything else, and I'll divvy out those potions if needed. Okay. Um... Which is genuinely not being like... Also, I learned how to uh, add people into the initiative order so we don't have to roll again. Oh. Yay. Okay. Yay. I'll still roll as myself. Let me see if I can... Very Ooh. nice. Woo! Ooh. Oh, he's he's getting closing. I can't believe you got a one or a two. 
Yeah. So I will say, at the very least, Word and Fritz, you are stealth, and he hasn't taken note of you. So your attack, your first attack on him, will be with advantage. Okay. Cool. <clears throat> Word, um. You're up. Oh boy. Um. Yeah. Let me double check. Honestly, exactly having a buckler would be very useful. Uh, closing argument, gem of blades, negotiation. Uh, the first attack does plus five dragon's breath. I'm actually kind of forgetting. That's right. So negotiation now has a well of oil that it is coated in. And if it hits, it does fire damage, which it ignites the oil. And the closing argument lets me do a critical hit per short rest. Damn. So I'll do a negotiation, which is just um, a dagger coated in oil from its sheath. And when I pull it out, I get to splash it on the enemy. Mm. Um, so I will, I will teehee. Take one of these, buddy boy. All right. Mm. Yes. Cool. Ooh, wow. So, uh, and five damage on top of that. Okay. So I, I run out from under the bed. Like, as I'm unsheathing my dagger, I, I dip the little bowl that it's in, and it splashes onto his thigh. I race behind him and stab straight into, like, his Achilles heel, <sighs> igniting the whole thing up his leg, Ooh. dealing... Um, Six normal knife damage, 12 uh, Achilles heel damage, three initial fire damage, and then immediately five from the old. Damn, I didn't know knives had explosive rounds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Basically, I have a gun yeah. that I stab people with. A point blank gun, yeah. <laughs> and you, yeah, stab him into the leg, and I'm going to roll. Okay. You basically just like disarm. This leg. <laughs> uh, this he, leg. He kneels down to clutch at uh, his heel. Rah! And You're uh, not going anywhere but to your chosen heaven, buddy boy. He's going to be slowed. Woo! Um, the target takes any fire damage before the oil dries. They take an additional fire damage. Okay, so everyone, if you throw fire at him, he'll burn a lot more. <laughs> what? Uh, Question. Yeah, yes, go ahead. Crazy question. Did we actually name that Warforged Steve? Well, we did no. briefly. His and name was Seven. I wanted to call Fuck. him Steven, and he said, no, I am Soup Ladle. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. He's not Steve. <laughs> Yo, you were we'll, we'll your ring of we Steve? We can find a Steve. <laughs> yeah! no! I was going to oh! fucking pull him out like a Pokemon. No. <laughs> That'd oh, be so no. cool. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> can you still pull out a Steve? No, it's just Ring of Steve. Advantage on any rolls when against creatures named Steve. So in case we had to fight him. That's not even this guy. Yeah, but it was just in case we had to fight him. I realized, oh shit, that might be good. It's all right. Maybe we look up like some uh, birth certificates and find out that the old turtle's (laughs) birth name is Steve. Hmm. Anything else, Word? Oh, oh, no, sorry. uh, Fuck, your turn. Everything. Uh, When he kneels down to... um, uh, like grab at his knee. I want to bonk. I want to bonk him on the way up with a hammer. <laughs> All right. Um, I don't necessarily want to rage right now, but I do want to. Uh, I'll roll with advantage with um, uh, reckless. Wombo combo. Okay. That's not gonna be enough. The bonk Oof. is just Oof. blocked by his kind of uh, wrist gauntlet. The the wrist on his gauntlet. Gotcha. Well, I do have another bonk, so I'll do another. Do bonk. have another bonk? That'll be enough. Yes. Second bonk gets through. Um. And that's all I want to do, all right. I suppose. The bash rings throughout his armor, and it kind of shudders a bit like you just hit a bell. Hmm. All right, anything else, Buck? No. Nope. Okay. Fritz, your turn. I'm you are stealth. Your rings. first attack has advantage. Okay, question. How does the Ring of Heavy exactly work? Like, when it says activated, do I have to be wearing it? Yes. Uh, so you basically flatten someone like can, a pancake under your hand. <laughs> can I put it on someone cool. to activate it so that they would be carrying a heavy ring? I would say with a six, uh, in battle, with a successful sleight of hand, you can. What is my sleight of hand? It's a dexterity-based check. Okay. All right, then. <clears throat> I am going to... Let me just double check my spell. One bonus action. Your step into the water. 
not what I thought it was. Okay. Oh, I can do Misty Step as a bonus action. And because I rested, I have my spell slots back. You do. Um, how much more does that give me? Up to 30 feet. Okay. I can teleport up to 30 feet. Okay. Mm. All right. Gaming. I'm going to walk up to him. And down his back. I'm um, drop. Uh, can I drop the ring so he becomes extremely heavy? Or does he have to wear it? It has to be worn. I am... I am ringing this man and activating it. <laughs> All right, give me a sleight of hand. Let's see how this goes. I, I I'm will in say stealth, but this we'll is. See. I'm going to consider this your full action, since okay. it's such a complex motion. <laughs> yeah, I, I gathered. Yeah. All right. Yeah, he's just clutching, and he was bashed in by Buck, and his arm is thrown out to the side. You quickly grab it. He looks to you, uh, and you slip it on <laughs> and activate it. Boosh! He is prone. Let's go. Uh, 15, uh, so 15, 20, 5, 30. I am going back onto the bed. <laughs> I'm standing on the bed. <laughs> okay, he is going to try and take an attack of opportunity at you. Um, oh, I thought because he was prone. My bad. No, he can realize. still attack. Okay. Prone just means he's on the ground. All right. You can do one of those I'll cool take that. spinny that was my... kick moves that... to get back up. That was my fuck up. Doesn't he, does he attack at disadvantage while he's prone? Doesn't he for melee attacks? I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure. Maybe I'm wrong. Look it up. 5 e prone. Uh, disadvantage prone. on attack rolls. Condition, creature's uh, only movement option is to crawl unless it stands up. Creature has disadvantage on attack rolls. It does. Movement You're right. Oh. You are absolutely right. He has disadvantage. And he Yay. rolled a nat one with the second roll. Well done. He just goes Ooh, to wow. swipe at you. Wow. And you just like, Pirouette over him. <laughs> <laughs> Who is he attacking? Uh, Fritz, Fritz for attack of opportunity for leaving his uh, oh. his melee range. Cool. All right, now is the guard. Who's your reaction, nerd? He is just like going to look at the ring, and he's confused as to how it works. He's trying to take it off, but it's pretty pretty tight on his fat gauntlet finger. So yeah. he's going to attempt to take it off. Ooh, he does not. Uh, so instead, he's just going to swipe at you, Word. A small little one oh. closest to him. No. He's just a right. little guy, and it's his birthday. You get blown away. <laughs> nope. One swipe goes wide. You just Ooh. jump over it as he's swiping at the floor. <laughs> and another one. Yeah, that ring is holding him down. Old. He's just, stupid little <laughs> bastard. Stupid big bass didn't I stab at me? <laughs> uh, Lyra, your turn. That was all uh, his turn. Oh, he didn't try to get up? Uh, he can't. The ring is holding him down. Oh. Wow. He yeah. tried to get the ring off, but it, it didn't work. It, it didn't work. Uh, Alright, give me a sec. I'm trying to... Um, hmm. Hmm. Trying to remember how I used to do my oh flame blade, a second level spell that I haven't prepared today. That makes sense. Ooh, cool. Uh, eh. <laughs> so many spells I could use, but I've always I've already burned two second level spell slots today doing enhance abilities on people for RP reasons. <laughs> um, Worth it. Uh, I mean, I could probably just wild shape into something that does damage and then just do damage that way for free. I think I'll just do that. As uh, long as you get through the portals, wild shape, it's worth it. Yeah. Nobody think it's suspicious that you guys are hanging out with a panther. Um, yeah, I'm going to wild shape Don't notice anything do we it. don't notice. We'll be fine. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let me just real quick grab the d and 5 e stats. I've used a wild shape, which takes my action, so I can't attack this round. Um, unless my two weapon fighting no I think I need to attack for my action um, okay has anyone taken any damage yet no you guys uh, got we're the jump just on. laying into him great alright then uh, him <laughs> yeah uh, we gotta do a domain expansion alright then I can't use bomb of the <laughs> summer court um, great alright then I'm gonna wild shape into a panther and wait to attack him when I get my action back alright word Ooh. your turn again all right, he is still prone, He's so still I have prone. advantage. Yep. Uh, I don't want to crit him yet. Could have so stealthed I'll if I was a panther do... with a plus six. 
Oh, um, he ended his turn covered in oil by himself that I ignited last turn, so he takes an additional five damage. Oh, additional mm. five. Okay, all right. Yeah, and then I'm just stabbing. Like, okay, kind of trying he to is... yeah get around him as the ring is falling on him, just like can I get get can I get you? He is very him. close, and you see that he's fading, judging by Ooh. his behavior. That he's like, oh, he's slowing down. All right, let's knock him out, prop him back up on the chair, and then get out of here. <laughs> he served the wrong people. Oh, yeah, sorry, that's my All turn. right, Buck. Uh, I will roll non... Oh, yeah, I, I think it's non-lethal anyway, is the rules of the game. Yeah, um, the rules is non-lethal will... unless you state otherwise. Yeah. Right, 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 right. Uh, so I will try to knock him out with the old attack. All right, it is with advantage without you uh, needing to be reckless. Didn't look like it rolled. Oh, there we go. Yeah, there Ooh. we go. Okay, yeah, Ooh. that'll knock him out cold. He boom! and just falls over asleep. Great. Ah, All right, let's my sweet prince. Let's prop him up All on right, the chair on. where he was looking at here, paperwork me, and then move on. Let, let me just put him here. And I'll move him. Yep. Oh, onto yeah, the what chair. was the paperwork yeah. by the way? Did you read it? Well, oh, I can't move him. There's a ri- How do we How does this ring work? <laughs> oh, do I need to take it off or Uh, you can try. You can see that it was pretty tight on its finger. Um Ah. Is there like a command word? I wasn't paying attention. How'd you do that? I I if just you, kind of did it. You put it on his fingy and he fell I'm over. I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah, on, I have me, that effect on people. Let me look up at Dan Jones's <laughs> list of rings that I used. Dan Jones! To, Dan Jones! Uh, Dan Jones! Because uh, I remember it specifically just said that like the ring gains a bunch of pounds when you activate it. Yeah, I activate it. I'm sure there's like a button on there. Let me see. Oh, okay. That's cute, like a little I mean, gem. At the end of the day, I think it's up to you if it's a command <laughs> word or like a like a sweet little insert. Uh, what's it called again? The ring of what? Skidaddle skidoodle. You now weigh more yeah, than a hundred poodles. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was the ring of heavy or something. Of noodles. Yeah, yeah I just named it heavy. heavy ring. Sorry. Heavy, heavy ring. Okay. Uh, yeah, it just says when you activate the ring. So I'm gonna presume there's like a a secret button that you know of that he mm-hmm. did not. <clears throat> that's crazy. <laughs> that I think that's the same as a, a movable rod yeah. as a button. Let's let's huh. say they're the same yeah. manufacturer. <laughs> okay. So, so do I need to? Back. If I press the button again, will it stop? I will say it does. Yes, yeah. but it does say once per day. So um, I will. Okay. You've used it for the day. Taking that back. I'll press it All and right, then. Can you pull it off? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I don't have the strength. <laughs> Yeah, so give okay. me give me an athletics check because now this is a different challenge from just lifting him. Instead, it's trying yeah. to pull it off. Gosh, okay, um, you pull and you pull and uh, hold on. There's thunder going on outside. Ooh, exciting! Oh, I thought that was dramatic. Yeah, I thought that was really dramatic effect. <laughs> and you and? pull and you <clears throat> detach his finger. Ah! <gasps> <gasps> oh! Okay, all right, everyone relax. This is fine. So the ring is still stuck on his gauntlety finger, but uh, I toss the, the, the finger's no longer prince. attached. Oh, so there was oh, like no. a guy in there. No. It's not just like an animated suit of armor with a personality. Is this more no. gruesome than no. I expected? No. Hold on, no. just take this, Fritz. Hold this right now. Uh, I do not, I'm not touching that finger. How breakable <laughs> do you have to be? To no, you know what? I was pulling really hard. So Fuck that, no. uh, I'm sorry. Here, here. I'll take that. I have here. a necklace that needs another finger. Ah, okay. uh, I throw the. I guess I you now have the heavy ring. <laughs> oh. Oh, did it not come off of the no, base? No, it did not come off of the. Uh, <laughs> actually, the finger. because right. the the finger's now detached, you're able to slip it off the the other end yeah, essentially. Yeah. So uh, okay. you just have a detached can, finger now. No. You can I give the ring it. to Fritz and the I, I do oh. the thing where like you, when you when you pull something off, I'm trying to just like touch it back as if that would like heal the finger. I'm like, hold on, let me see if I can just get it to. Um, so but, do I have the uh, ring? Of if you now? do that, I can use one of my bomb of the summer courts you know to heal a d6 of damage. Oh, but well, I don't want do to wake him me- up actually. So do you have mending? You can repair the glove with, and his finger can just kind of be loose inside. I, oh, that sounds awful. <laughs> Thank you, Fritz. Everything about this is bad. <laughs> Man, nothing I have prepared could traumatize you guys more than this finger being detached. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck, Buck? No. Yeah. I didn't. So I, it, is, it is a guy, I right? I, like, yeah, like there it, is a person it's a inside his arm. It's a proper okay. humanoid. Judging by the skin color, it's probably a Goliath of some kind. Oh. Gotcha. 
<clears throat> I you thought they would have had sturdier <laughs> joints, if anything. I'll use my dagger and like a little bit of the oil on his leg to cauterize. Uh, cauterize, cauterize <laughs> uh, how benevolent of you, yes. And it a little sorry sizzle, note. Sizzle. Now he owes me. They don't know. Oh, do you want me to write the sorry note? I don't know if we're. No, 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 don't no, write no. the note. Okay, let's get out of this room. <laughs> yeah. I, I, he's asleep. He's asleep, and he just. I'll okay. put his hand Which like portal? this so you can't Wh see the finger. Which direction? <laughs> um. I recommend that we go towards the right because I think that was where the m the big magic source was that we wanted to check out. And so far, the por the portals have been pretty good at sending us in the direction they're located in the room. Hey, Buck, what do you think? And I hold up my two hands, and I have three rings on each hand. It it look it looks good. I I'm working on being like a. Yeah, the cool thing about rings is you can put like one on each knuckle. I know I, 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 that I know how rings work. Them, it's it's well, good. Yeah. It, it's good. It's good. It's yeah. good. We, yeah. we have to. We, we're just. You might have to talk to the next person that just comes through. So just come towards the front, and I'll sit in the back. Yep. They might. Yep. Why are we going over here? Isn't that where we came through? No, we came through this one. Okay. Here we go. Mm -hmm. All right. You all go into that portal. Uh, and Lyra, you are wild shaped into a panther. So. I am still a panther. You are a panther. Oh, Lyra's a panther. So, yes. you guys enter. I don't want to waste a wild shape. <laughs> enter the next room. Yeah. The teleporter <coughs> takes you, the teleportation circle takes you into the next room. And the denizens inside have not noticed you except for one, but I will describe Ooh. the whole scene uh, once, <laughs> uh, once we get there. So, this is what you see. Inside, you see that there are a couple of Baztan guards, uh, regular footmen, kind of at a table that are just uh, watching as it seems as though some mage guards are analyzing and casting a few incantation on some arcane cages that you can see. One of them is holding a few bits of blot. One of them is holding a young green kobold and another one is empty. <laughs> and to the right of you is another teleportation circle and- And a chest. chest. The guards have not noticed you. The kobold has, seeing you through the arcane cage and just like is looking between you and the guards and seeing as though you are not affiliated from very obviously looking at you. It just uh, tries to act natural. <laughs> I give everyone like a bloodshot open eye as I rapidly try to load my short bow. Yeah, I figured that was where this was oh, going. I'm okay. sneak up on this individual to give a little Smack is smack. Maybe. Are we sneaking up or are we launching ourselves bodily? Uh, sneak then launch. Okay. It's always the best. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold myself in. Whatever you do in... is with advantage and we'll give them a, uh, will be a surprise round that skips their first turn. I'm uh... giving hey batter batter and I'm just waiting for word to say Ooh. the word so I can pull the trigger on just hitting this guy right. as hard as I can. With I want to aim for top, oh, I wanted to aim for top right. Uh... Uh, I've got a clear shot on this No, guy, I'm checking something. Him. Hold on. Uh oh. Uh, you gonna spell? blast all of them? What do we have? What do we got? That's what I'm looking at. Whoa. Oh. Ooh. At least, what is that? Oh, uh, I see. That's kind of cool. Oh, they're... So, huh. I think would that would that work. hit? Because the, these two are within 10 feet of this guy. Uh, and I'll I let think, you pick. Does that count as behind? Yes, I'll, I'll let you, you get to pick, pick which one target, though. Everyone's within ten feet of that. That's guy. good. Yeah, but everyone's the, within ten feet. But I don't. By have description, it sounds there. like it needs to be behind the target in the direction the user has fired the bolt. So I think that's the only combo. Mm. Like you need to yeah. reposition to get the others. Yeah. Oh, so it's like a blowback shot. <clears throat> that's cool. So I could only hit one person. A blue. No you can only where hit go, that. Specific well, you can hit two. You can hit yeah, two hit people. Yeah. And it yeah. like grapples them together. Because yeah. I don't I'm think in any that. direction I do this. It, I could hit all of them, so nope. that's no, fine. Not at all. We can. I, yeah. I want to take. Uh, you said right, McGee over you here. You said we get, um, we get one free attack, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. Are you guys good for me to do this? Should we roll yeah. initiative to yeah, see? Yeah, let's goes... roll initiative to see who gets mm -hmm. to launch it's their attack first. Round. All of your attacks yeah. will go off before they get a chance. Yeah. Though. My initiative is plus two right now. I'm just gonna roll it flat and then. Yeah. I'm all just checking. You good with me, shackles? Oh! <laughs> yeah, go, go for that. I'll, um, I don't know okay. why it's not you know, rolling. I'll position myself like way over here then. Uh, Panther adds plus two to my initiative, so I'm going on actually 21. Okay, sweet. This is the highest I've ever rolled. Word, you said. Yeah. You? How did you say your character reacted to this? 
oh, I just gave everyone, like, a really <laughs> wide eye, like, you know, tongue out of mouth. Like, we're going to fucking kill these guys right now. And I'm <laughs> uh -huh, loading uh -huh. my, oh. my arrow frantically. Okay, yeah. yeah. They're, like, kind of excited. Like, we're here for a good reason now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Save now we're saving somebody. <laughs> All right. Oh, the the six I think should be the one that I think it did actually roll with advantage. Oh, okay. Uh, first ah. time. All right. Mm. So it should be six. All right then. We are going to go Ooh. in order, and the guards' first turn will be skipped. Firstly, Lyra, your first attack. This is, go. This is wild. Oh. I think I've never gone first in my life uh, in yeah, this that's game. Crazy. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, Panther has this fun feature called pounce, where if I move at least twenty feet straight towards a creature and then hit it with a claw attack. I can knock them prone if they fail a strength save, which is what I would like to try to do Ooh. to guard on the right. Uh, so let me just, uh, <clears throat> let me just 5, 10, 15, 20. Ha ha! Okay, let's, uh, yes. all right. Uh, how does this work? Uh, claw attack, uh, it's plus four to hit. Um, let me see if this works. Did that do it? Uh, I see it on no, the DM side. Uh, it was basically huh. a hidden roll. I see that you. I'm not sure 21. why it rolled it at advantage. Oh wait, are we doing this at advantage? Because it's like a surprise round. Yes, you are. Yes. Great. Yeah. I see All that right. you rolled a 21 and an eight. I did. Yes. Yeah. For um, some reason, it's not showing up in the public uh, chat. This always happens when I just click from D and D Beyond because I have the Panther stats open. But if it's not mm -hmm. clicking from my character, it seems to go D and D DM only. Anyway, uh, so yes, 21 to hit. Uh, I, I assume that hits? Yes, that is going to hit. As you, like, kind of run across the table, you see, like, the first few seconds you were in the room, you see the guards are like, hey, you ever wonder why we're here? Oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> and just a panther stomping over the table, launching, just pounces on this guy. Okay, and, so uh, he takes only four piercing damage, but he needs to make a DC 12 strength save. Okay, strength save. Uh Oh, no, he fails it. Great, I can Whoa. make a free bite attack as a bonus Whoa. action then. <laughs> Whoa. Oh god, not the face! Uh, so that's another uh, plus four melee weapon attack. I'm gonna just hit the button to roll it again. Uh, DM, I trust that you'll be able to see it. Uh, yep, uh, that's not gonna hit, unfortunately. It pings I, off Should I also be on. rolling this one in advantage because of the surprise yes. round? Actually, yes, yeah, okay. since you're here. Yeah. All right, second try. Okay, yeah, that'll hit. That's Yay! 20, soft 20. Uh, okay, and that is... Oh, sorry, hold on. I had these mixed up. Um, it's the same roll to hit, but the claw is only one d four plus two slashing damage. So oh, I'll just, okay. I'll just roll that, and we'll, we'll just uh, consider that as the claw. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah, max right. damage. Yeah. Well, okay. Not, yeah. Not you max damage, puncture but like, into nice. to this plate and draw blood. You draw first blood. Well done. Great. Okay. So he is prone for now, uh, and that's my entire turn. <laughs> okay. What an opener. A panther leaps through the portal. <laughs> Finally, I get to do something cool as a panther. <laughs> Word. <laughs> All right. Shooting at this fine gentleman. Mm -hmm. With the wrath of a kobold's vengeance, okay. my arrow flies like a dragon. Someone's got to stick up for the little oh, guy. Woo! Woo! Yeah, yeah the woo! vengeance. Oh, this guy's just dead. I think it was fucking kill him. I think you did, <laughs> yes. He is knocked out cold completely with a single shot. Oh, my God. Boosh. You hear Jesus, and he just falls to the ground, and the other one just turns around. What the? That's why the they call you the boss. The dragon actually turns into an arrow. <laughs> yeah, what I said. Assassinated. Yes. I do a little fist pump, and it, um, I think I have a bonus action hide. Yeah, yeah you can try. Uh, no, I'll just run over here and op interact with the object to open it as a bonus action. I don't know if you want to let me look yeah, at it. Yeah, I'll let you not, look but... at it. Um, you don't get it right now, but I'll show the contents anyway. Yeah. Just uh, whoop, you open it up, and the whoop. contents inside, chest number two, is da -da -da -da, <laughs> some thieves' tools in case uh, the one you have breaks. Oh, hold on. I, that, that's in the GM notes. You can't see that. Uh, <gasps> whoop, there we go. Yeah. You get thieves' cool. tools, a, a set of blade mail, and three mm -hmm. potions of healing. The full damage, oh my lord. That's bonkers. Who here Somebody can wear medium that. armor? I'm pretty sure Buck and Fritz. Great. Yeah, I wish I, I could. Don't, how do I check? Uh, you're I a ranger. A, it's you, a proficiency. You're proficient with all weapons and armor yeah, I as think, a ranger. I think you're in medium, oh. yeah, medium armor. I can wear, I guess I can wear you it. You can, yeah. Barbarians, weirdly enough, Holy are proficient shit. with all armor as well. I'm proficient yeah. with medium armor too. Oh, that's weird. 
Oh, but it so says I won't wear armor. Mm. You won't wear metal or yeah. This I mean, I'm not going to use this. There's this no point. Unfortunately, but... metal okay. as well. But I mean, even ah. then, yeah. Well, like like yeah. the druid's going to be on the front lines taking damage. Only when I'm okay. shaped like a bear, which I can't do yet because the CR is too yeah, that, high. That, that's my turn, though. So, yep. it, it's skipping theirs, I guess. Uh, yes, it is skipping their turn. Fritz, your turn. You may do your shackle shot. Shackle at advantage. shot at advantage. Ooh. Show me the crossbow. Okay, yes, it is going to puncture uh, the footman's armor, and the shackle goes... Few, 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 few. Let me see, where's the... Okay, uh, strength save. Do you want me to ping it again? 15. No, I, I see it. Oh, oh okay. Uh, da, da, da. Okay, so here's what happened. The foot soldier is unaffected by the shackle, but the shackle throws its weight around back at the mage and boom, conks him in the head. <laughs> knocks him prone. Huh. The foot soldier is fine. Honey, I only had one sa shackle shot, so that's gone. Nice. Good use. Unless uh, I can pick it back up, or is it destroyed? I think you can pick it back up. All right. I'll oh, wait, really sorry, not I prone, don't... grappled. He's grappled, not prone. Ah. Uh. My mistake. All right. Yes, it basically, uh. like, swung around the foot soldier, but wasn't able to, like, grapple all around him, but was able to do it to the, the mage. And, uh. Uh, yeah, the damage, okay. All right, yeah, it just ping against the foot soldier's plate armor. And yeah, uh, you do have a second attack if you wish to use it. Yes, I am going to try to hit the soldier again. What is a second attack not with advantage because they've it noticed is. now? Oh, okay. I'm going to... Um, close am I? Because I'm actually worried if I fire one more time, I'm at a disadvantage. Ten feet. You're at disadvantage if, if you're within melee range, <clears throat> i.e. this close. Okay. Okay, okay. I was double checking. Um. Yeah, I'll just pew! Pew! Oh, good shot. Alright. It pings off of his armor, rattles him inside again, and uh, yeah, well done. Uh, Damn. Real quick, mm -hmm. the armor on these guys, what's the symbol? That is the house best hand symbol. Okay. That's the best. Good. It's not the so weird let, mystery one. Yeah, lest we forget why we entered or how we entered this area. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Is it some bad shit? Mm -hmm. Buck, your turn. All right. I'm gonna hit him with my hammer. <laughs> I'm gonna, gonna hit swing. <laughs> All right, nice, good hit. Rings him like a bell. Oh, that must and be a It's not gonna come as a surprise. I'm gonna do it again. Oh, and that one knocks him out cold. Dong dong. Dong dong. That foot soldier drops to the floor. Lyra. Yeah, I'm gonna um, bite and claw this guy again because he's still prone, so I can just do both for free with a bite, a claw. Uh, okay. claw action, and then bite bonus action. Um, don't is it? He's prone. So Does you that... get advantage on both. Okay, I was wondering about that. Yeah, melee so I'm gonna... attacks on prone targets are with advantage. Alright, here's the claw. DM, you might still be the only one who gets to see this. Okay, yeah, alright, that'll hit. That's a 20 Damn. on both sides. Okay, cool. That was nice. Uh, and then it auto-calculated the damage for me, which was nice. Mm. Um, and for the chomp. Okay, yes, very nice. And clawing and chomping, and he actually starts panicking, seeing you guys taking out uh, the other guards, and he goes, oh, oh, I give, I give, I surrender! Um, All right, then I will stop kicking the shit out of him. <laughs> I'll just uh, put my my big claws on his chest plate and just kind of leave them there. <laughs> Is there anyone who hasn't surrendered? Uh, the mage, the, yes. Uh, yeah, he's prone, okay. but not like out of commission yeah, he's yet. Grappling. I march on over to him. Mm -hmm. um, I don't have any intimidation. Um, but it's a charisma thing, right? You're good at that. Eh. How do we open these cages, you bastard? Uh, yeah, you may give me a intimidation or persuasion. Oh no! <laughs> Let's do that. Ugh. You can kill me, and the secret will die with me. Oh good, I, we can I, kill him. <laughs> yeah, I mean this other guy next to you. No, he's not dead. Uh, 
All right, you'll get close. I'll make an attack roll. <laughs> All right. If that's okay. Yes, you may. Uh, just do an offhand dagger attack. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't. 15 for five. Do you get sneak attack on the grappled enemy? Uh, anytime I have advantage, actually. Wow. Because he's Grapple. grappled. Uh, so, yeah, sorry, I did that wrong. That's busted. There we go. Uh, yeah, no. grappled, Rogues, I don't think grappled insane. actually gives advantage. It just or he, he's grapple. Is he restrained also? Because those are no, two. no. It specifically says he's, grapple. Okay, so then his movement his speed, speed is, is zero. zero so I think. yeah, your offhand. Okay, we'll, then, we'll take the normal piercing from your offhand and your short okay, sword. Okay, yeah, that's all. Yeah, no, I, I don't want to deal that. No. Okay. I'll smack it. I'll smack him for five though, for sure, and be like, <laughs> "How about now? Long. Get closer to death." <laughs> I have the upper hand. <laughs> I step on his hand and end my turn. <laughs> Next is we can't turn. keep fucking up people's hands this session. This can't be the theme of the day. I'm going to collect them. No, I no. I still have a stone witch hand. No. Okay. <laughs> it's my motif, oh no. So uh, the mage is going to cast Armor of Agathus, and you can see a bunch of uh, oh. icy shards appear all over his plate. Oh, beans. Oh, you bitch. And <laughs> let's see what icon. There we go. Put that. And... He is also going to swift cast a second spell. Whoa. Sorcerer? Oh. I think so. He is going to cast Shatter. I'm going to need uh, Buck, Fritz, and Leyra to make a constitution saving throw. Constitution saving throw. As a loud every crash character? breaks through the sound barrier. Oh, man. I have a worse con save as a panther than I do as a, as a me. But an 18... It's pretty good. Okay, yeah. So, uh, Buck and Layra, you are going to pass, and you are going to take eight thunder damage. Oh whereas God, Fritz, you're evasion. going to take 19 thunder damage as this loud explosion of noise rings in your eardrums no. and gives you a little bit of tinnitus. Uh, not to it's be okay. DM, did we have homework, but are we supposed to take half <laughs> of the 19? Yeah, uh, half of then the 19. Then I think 19. that's nine. Oh, that, is, that would be nine. You're right. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay. I'm bad at math. It's okay. But what did I take again? You took 19. 19. Okay. Oh, it's okay. I, I didn't want my temp HP or anything. <laughs> it's going to okay. knock me out of panther mode at this rate. And this guard has given up, so he's not going to attack. He has waved the white flag. I'm going to give him a little... Uh, there we go. A flag. Go, Presumably flag. he also got walloped by that shatter and isn't feeling particularly loyal at this point. <laughs> Fritz, your turn. You said the other guy gave up, right? Yep. Uh, White flag boy here. <laughs> hey, friend. Um, will you? We'll let you live if you get the the the, the, the stuff out of the mage. <laughs> Give me an intimidation with advantage. <laughs> Pitting them against each other. Um. We're gonna have tryouts. <laughs> okay, and. He just pleads with his mage friend, please, please just do what they say. Come on, I don't want to be mauled today. I didn't sign up to be fighting panthers. <laughs> and let's see if that convinces the mage. We're witnessing some real telling a village drama over here. Uh, yep, the mage is convinced. Hmm. Just like frustratingly <sighs> and holds both its hands up, drops its armor of Agathus. Well, that was nice. Yay! I'm just gonna go, Lyra, I, I did it, I was threatening, I did it, I was intimidating. You get an impressed- The fucker actually thought I was gonna kill him! Don't, don't, we, st we need to keep them intimidated. <laughs> I, I mean, yes. Um, <clears throat> it's not like a binary a switch where they're like intimidated forever. I mean, I'm mm, actually I, still I, on the fence about it. You know what? No, I'm gonna turn around and still be like, and I still could. <laughs> <laughs> just like just freak him out. All right, let's <laughs> let's try and get these fellas out of there. Well, let's try and get the cobalt out of the cage. I think we can leave the blot where yeah, it is. Me, can I? Can Free I just like my strange colored cousin? Can I put all them together and just tie them all? <laughs> yeah, together, you like, can. Scooby Doo, Scooby Doo style. Now let's see who this is, and just I like take back all to back to back. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> Do you actually oh, demask them? Yeah, go for no, it. No, I don't. I mean, good, I, no. Good. Well, there's there's uh, plot uh, twist uh, hiding I here. Will, I want to know what it is. <laughs> well, sure. Okay, I, let me see what you look like, and I take off the one the uh, one scared one who was scared by Lara. 
Uh, you can see that it's just a typical fear bulb man. Uses uh, okay, yeah. an enlisted <laughs> soldier like any other. Yeah, that makes Sorry, sense. Sorry, I didn't. I, I'll put that back on. Astro, like this. You Ooh, can is see. this region big enough for people to have like physiological differences if they're from certain areas? Uh, yeah, as you notice, the Goliath man that was the larger guard before, um, that there are just some generic, genetics that some people are just big. Hmm. Okay, but like n nowhere weird, not from like where we've been from or anything. No, like you wouldn't okay. see a goblin that size. Um, yeah, I, m more to say like regionally, could he be from probably the Trevisetta region or closer to um, like Satya? Oh, oh, that's asking, what you mean. Maybe. Um, because a couple days journey isn't that big. No, nah. so I, like I mean, yeah, okay. fear bulgs. You've met a couple of fear bulgs in your time. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, you I'll, met that I'll, one I'll grave that. digger from uh, the small town, yeah. which name escapes me. That's kind of south of uh, of Nuba Sky. The one that mm. the man with the eyebrows mm. that covers his eyes. <laughs> um, Soft shores. Viserly. Viserly, that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, the author of um, Lost in a Drift is a Fearbolg as well. Oh, so yeah. Fearbolgs yeah. are, are a plenty in uh, Alinthi in general. But this yeah, basically right. doesn't tell us anything about where they're recruiting minions from. No. no. How do we open it? Actually, better question why is he in there? Is he like a sociopath? <laughs> Well, if you must know, we are conducting research. You're making my skin crawl. You better explain yourself. I don't have to explain anything for, to you. You're invaders. Where do you have the finger still? Can oh I see that God! <laughs> the the no, panicked foot soldiers like a finger. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just go over to the mage next to him and I hold my dagger right up to his throat, the unconscious guy. Ooh. Do you want an example or do you comply now? I don't know how well you know this guy, but you could be him very soon. Yikes. Give me an intimidation. Okay. Really wish I was better at this. Eh. Mm. <laughs> he mm. just kind of uh, looks over to the other way and just like, you have no no power here. You need me. Yeah, this guy's been through this rigmarole before. You're a tried and true veteran. All right, I'm just going to go kick at the wall. All I, right. I kick the wall. So you go and you kick <laughs> the uh, arcane cage. You can see that there are there is a sigil akin to chains keeping this sort of transparent, gla almost glass wall uh, between you and the other kobold. And the kobold, as you go to like get ready to kick it, He's holding his hands, like waving them back and forth as a no, and I'm gonna need you to make a wisdom saving throw. Yeah, that makes I hope sense. I get sucked in. That'd be amazing. <laughs> okay. Uh oh. So you go kill to smalls. kick it, and a bright arcane zap poof, hits you in the foot and throws you back right into the table. Poof, uh -oh. And you are going to take oh. twelve. Uh, oh my damage. lord! Ooh. Maybe a health potion would be good around about now. All right, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna uh, undo wild shape. Uh, walk over to the cage and cast dispel magic. Oh, okay. Yeah, you dispel <laughs> magic, and the cage falls apart. Just shoo. And God, uh, what a waste of time that was. I stabbed this guy to death. Ah! <laughs> yeah, you killed. Well, him. Yeah, we don't need him. We have his friend. His friend surrendered. He didn't. Oh, so. we're, we're killing the guy who was being an asshole. The guy who's yeah, like, you yeah. need me. I don't need to tell yeah. you anything. I need his jugular real quick. I mean, we, just to can, see something. Yeah, can we keep our promise of keeping the other guy alive? I, kinda... I think we should oh, keep yeah, the others sure. alive. Yeah. yeah. No, I pat him on the cheek. I give him a kiss on the forehead. Okay, you dispel <laughs> the cage. It falls apart. And you can see the kobold inside is a little taken aback and just goes to give you, like, wraps his arms completely around you, Lyra. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> He gets a very awkward, like, like top of the head pat. <laughs> like, Lara's arms are almost at T-posing height. <laughs> still, my horn's still, like, kind of steaming at the top. I give him a hug, too. Oh, Lara, look, it's your first hug. It, it, it looks like it's going great. <laughs> what? Hey! Kobolds Don't understand the appeal. Thank you, kinsman. Hi. Now, where the heck are you from, and how did they get you? Oh, um, let me show you. Ooh. His little portrait. 
Yeah. Show me the guy. It's our oh, boy. Oh, it's adorable. Oh, oh fella. The Just a little Gola. goat lizard. Uh, I'm, I live on the outside of the walls. Uh, just a, a wee bit far off into the west uh, kind of trying to cultivate a little bit of land and well I I was just tending to my farm one day and I just woke up in here I don't remember a thing that sounds what were familiar. they doing to you uh, Did they tell you anything no can you, like check them over yeah uh, you can give me a medicine mm. check if you want like to look them over and stuff I'm not quite sure. Oh. I would like to do that if possible because I have a plus yeah. six on that. Yeah, you may. Yeah. I kind of want to try just for the fucks of it. <laughs> like I'm trying to help you like an assistant. <laughs> <laughs> well, we rolled about the same. Mm, I know kobold physiology. Okay. Gola may or may not have a penis. I suspect. <laughs> <what I've... laughs> huh? What's your medicine check? <laughs> too good. Uh, oh, a 13. Wait, 13. Mm -hmm. Okay. So looking him over. That's not what we were but... checking for. <laughs> looking him over, you actually do notice that he has been sterilized. Like he's been recently clean and sniffing over him. He oh, just, that's like, what you meant. Okay. Yeah. You, you oh. sniff him over and he is, he has been cleaned as if being prepared for something. Yikes. Not so, seasoned, which is good. Sanitized. Seasoned is what yeah. we're saying. Sanitized, as well. yeah. Did I say seasoned? Okay. You, no, you no, said I was, no. I was, no. You said sterilized. I was just saying there's like, it, it would be bad if he was seasoned as opposed to oh, right, cleaned, yeah. like to be to made clear. I don't want them to eat. Nah, he's sterilized egg. and sterilized would also be pretty tragic. Yeah, right. I was going to no. say, like, we were just discussing <laughs> No, his, his, his jewels nope, are, I don't are still know. in place. No, he's been uh, sterilized okay. in the scientific sense. In like, uh, okay. he, right. is he is, uh, yeah. Don't touch me, I'm free sterile. Free of contaminants. Uh -huh, yeah, uh -huh. Free of contaminants. He has been cleaned as if mm. a science experiment being prepared for things so as to not have any outside uh, factors involved. Mm. We should probably yeah. get out of, get you out of here. Mm. Hey buddy, uh, why'd yeah. you give my friend a shower? Um, well, I, I wasn't privy to the details, but um, the mages, uh, they were talking about uh, something involving the blot and uh, trying to derive some sort of thing from them. I'm not quite sure. I'm not well versed in the arcane. I'm sorry. Why'd they have you here then? You're stupid. Well, they need muscle, don't they? Ah, yeah, right. So you were chilling. All right. Well, this guy will wake up, see his friend dead. Maybe we can talk some sense into him. I start slapping this guy. <laughs> <laughs> you slap him awake. He's like, <laughs> Uh -huh. Hey, you know where resistance gets you? <laughs> right there. Yikes. We have points. Oh! Bad Seeing cop. His Bad cop. Dead, uh, he's just like, ah, okay. Please don't look, hurt. you're a nice guy. You look sweet. <laughs> we just got questions. All right. Your friend there, see, he's sweet. He's sweet too. That guy right there. He sees him shaking nice. in his armor. He He's... just doesn't know the answers to our questions, but you, my friend, you might. Now, why is my friend so well bathed? <laughs> <laughs> the tonal oh. whiplash I'm experiencing this week <laughs> yeah. is intense. I'm sorry. <laughs> We've it's taken this guy's place. finger. I've taken this guy's jugular. Now explain to me why you've power washed my friend. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, uh, to get him prepared, uh, you see, uh, we don't want outside factors to interfere with um our experiment involving the blot. Yeah, huh? You see, you're building up to the answer to my actual question. Do you want to go ahead and continue there? Well, we were mostly given instructions. I don't know what specific results they were asking for. Uh, in my pack, uh, in my pack, uh, there's a little pocket uh, to my back waist. Uh, there are the notes that we've taken. All right. Somebody do some reading. I get, I'll get, I'll get them. Oh, here, yeah. let me just. <laughs> <laughs> right. Milk, eggs. Oh, no, Dang, not there's nothing to be, there's nothing to be learned from these guys. Let's go. Okay. Milk, uh, eggs, I think we should butter. probably get our new friend out of here before we trip into any other combat situations. But I think you, it might be better if he stays with us and just stays yeah, here because yeah, we're behind. We can you know what? That's yeah, after. that's okay too. I will say um, for simplicity's sake, I will allow you to tra uh, travel and explore the rest of the dungeon without fear of Gola 
getting into any trouble. He will stay Yay. quick, and you will be you will have ample. Gola, opportunity. quick into the poncho. <laughs> we could really, yeah, we can either do. Uh, oh, you look a little too clean there, the buddy. <laughs> you gotta help. Or we could give him like a solid a snake up. crate that he just stays in, but like walks around with. Perfect. I love yeah. both options. He'll hide. So. Uh. Mm-hmm. What's up? Oh, I read. Oh, he's gonna go hide. Okay, I didn't know if he was like. Yeah, we'll I'm come gonna. Back for him. I'm going to lend him a javelin just in case. I don't like Aww. leaving him unarmored. Aww. Here, take this. Do crime. <laughs> <laughs> we have immediately adopted this kobold. I'm just going to tell him, like, here, You're take the people. javelin. Only use it if you need to. Do you- I, I, Thank you, I give him a. I give him one of my hasty sugar bombs. <laughs> oh! <laughs> he could use a snack. Blood sugar is probably a little low. Yeah, it's if, you need, him... if, you, if you need to run, you can have this. <laughs> I give him one of my extremely dry, crusty, slightly moldy duelist eclairs. <laughs> if you, if oh, you get oh, no. oh, those were from Nuba <laughs> Sky, weren't they? <laughs> I think yeah. I might still have a couple of those so in my is, inventory, too. Yeah, my, my hasty sugar bombs are, I think, from Nuba Sky. Okay, well. but those, oh, those sugar no. bombs are fine, though. Those and are, my those are axe. Sugar. Yeah. <laughs> dry. I... <laughs> give him a sword and treats. <laughs> you know the, the freaked out guy? Guy. Chew on that. Hmm? Can I? I'm gonna. Give I'm him. gonna. I want to talk to this freaked out guy real quick. Can the I? one that I mauled a little bit, or the other guy? Yeah, the one you mauled, the one you a, mauled bit. a little bit. Uh-huh. The one that yeah. gave up really easily. Yeah. I want to like crouch down, so I'm I'm like sitting like cross-legged neck like in front of him, and I'm I'm just gonna go. Told you you wouldn't die. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm sorry. What a bird of your word. Yeah. <laughs> I'm I'm sorry. Um, you're gonna be here a while. I promise I'll get you out alive. Um, do, 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 do you need like a book or something? It's gonna be a while. Um, Will you get bored? Fritz, they were performing blood experiments <laughs> on innocent civilians. We don't need to be this nice. I mean, these two well, were just kind of meat shields. We're I think we should yeah, maybe... I, <laughs> we could, Listen, well, we I didn't saw. know we were what we were getting into when we were signing up for this. I'm, I'm given the same kindness to this dude. He gave up quickly. He knew he was on the bad side. You know you're on the bad side, right? You know that now? Yeah. You know you're, you're a bad boy and you did wrong, right? I think that's a bit reductive. But... Mm. Uh, I don't think so from where we're standing. Do you know that you're the, the bad side or not? Yeah. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I'm not really here. I'm, I wasn't much one for debate. On, uh, I, I mean, sure, if that's what keeps me safe. Guys. I can live with that. I can live with that. Yeah. This is I not how... <laughs> <laughs> I'm I sorry, like this I, guy. In the court of yeah. ideals, this is yeah, not how you Yeah, sorry, argue I like case. this guy. Oh, sorry. Anyway. All right, so you're going to keep him safe and, and make sure he doesn't die. Anyway, yeah. fuck. I just <laughs> no, wanted to comfort him a yeah, little no, no. bit. I'm sorry. <laughs> I felt that. <laughs> I put all this work into mauling him, and now we're undoing it. <laughs> hey, oh, he's still tied up. All right, here are the yeah, research the notes note. from the mage that you pulled out of his pack. Yeah, give me, give me, uh, give me. These are all the subjects they have uh, presumably... Um, after, you know, I, I'm going to presume you interrogate each one. And these are, uh, he lets you know that these are the ones that they have experimented on today thus far and notes uh-huh. that they've taken. <clears throat> now I can read them off for you. Once again, I put Uh-oh. them in the GM notes instead of the fucking real notes. That would explain why it appears completely blank. Ah, there, there it is. Oh, there we go. There okay, we go. so, subject, human, age 43. Observation. Oh, Jesus Christ. Attacked and killed by the blot before body was used as host. As expected, behavior unchanged, no further action needed. Elf, observation, attack and killed by the blot, but not before dealing significant damage to blot in turn. Blot too weak to assimilate body as host, and both perished. Behavior unchanged, oh. no further action needed. Goblin, age 26. Observation. Subject experienced ma- uh, mage. Ooh. Subject was an experienced mage well versed in the nature of Alinthi dragons and attempted to use her knowledge to assist in manipulating the blot rather than outright attack it. Blot seemed to respond and attempted to verbally communicate as uh, verbally communicate. As per protocol, what? both subjects mm. were destroyed. Results have been submitted to Lord Tejero and will be executing appropriate cover story after full records of the subject's life and connections have been procured. Dispatch research team to investigate source of this specific strand of blot. This is of the highest priority. What? What so, the fuck did I say? You still are not sure. was right about everything. If they're on the wrong side or not. All right, cool. Yikes. I knew it. So then, well, I was—I didn't know that they would like 
the nature of Alinthi dragons and attempted to use her knowledge. Well, we we already know that there's yeah. a little bit of connection. I know, but yeah, but like, what what could she have known to manipulate? I don't know, man. That's crazy. You don't know, really. No, I don't know either, but I mean, you were the one who was in cahoots with that fucking witch. <laughs> Look, I wasn't in cahoots. I mean, I just... I, it was I, barely I one cahoot. Yeah, one cahoot where you I had a cahoot. I, no, right, I had a cahoot. Yeah, not only I, did you let her leave, Lost focus you saved and had her. a little bit of a cahoot. But. The, uh, the scared foot soldier speaks up. Uh, she was uh, being nosy, like you. And then the, the mage just like bangs its helmet <clears throat> against him. Shut up! Who was being nosy? The goblin. Uh, she was. She was a bit. She was somewhat of an inv investigator, and she was delving into a bit of, uh, you know, like loose threads. And then the other guy bangs his head again. Shut up! You don't need to worry about him making you seem worse in our eyes. <laughs> if this is metagaming at all, let me know, and I'll just lay the whole idea and suggestion to rest. But could someone roll history to see if they know what goblin he's talking about? I feel it's like because they said this happened today. We, I'll give so, you meta knowledge. Oh, this, this is this is not a goblin not you would have person or met. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. He is yeah. to, to, to be them. to lay the cards uh, plain. <laughs> um, he is basically saying there were other people that were suspicious, like you all. Mm -hmm. Okay. And they, before, and this is where they end up. Mm, we're not the only people investigating this. Yeah, knowledgeable people too. And this goblin specifically, seeing as she was a potential loose end, they deigned to dual purpose, uh, use this as a way to cut off her investigation and yeah. also potentially have another uh, experiment subject. All right. Well, I think we should gather as much evidence as we can and then burn this place to the ground. Who's with me? Yeah, le I'm, I'm, I'm with you. Right. Let's, <laughs> let's look around, though, more. There's a lot of... Um, if I recall, there's a lot coming from this area. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, like we should keep investigating. Magic awareness. Right. All I'm saying is I would be prepared if we go in down this direction because there was quite a lot of magic energy coming from that direction. Uh, I'm... Can I make a perception check on these blot to see if they have also been prepared in any way? Uh, if they're like yeah. more uh, valuable to <laughs> research than cleaned? a normal blot. Yeah, like are if, they shiny? Are these clean? Or if clean it's block? like a genetic offshoot or something with weird properties that we should definitely get rid of. Right, mm. right. Yeah. Okay, looking them over, you do notice a bit of interesting characteristics <clears throat> about these blot in that they have like little bits of cactus attached to their little goop, uh, <laughs> assuming that these actually are from the Politrios area as that is a desert full of cacti. Oh. Um, so um, these might have been procured from that area. Hmm. Uh, so I would say your uh, deductive reasoning and looking through the research list, they are perhaps looking at various different types of blot in various different areas all across Alinthi and testing to get data on their behavior. This strand hmm. seems to be blot from the south. Interesting. I mean, the more hurt we can put on their research, the longer it'll take them or anyone after them to recover it. The more evidence we can gather of their wrongdoing, the easier it will be to expose it. Yeah, but I don't have like a perfect ability to paint all the images I'm seeing here, so I don't know exactly. It's more how. the amount of physical data that we can gather and evidence that we can paperwork like this fine fellow oh, yeah. volunteered to <laughs> yeah. us. I forgot how valuable that stuff is. Extremely. Hey, little buddy. I go over to Pabog. I just wrote his I name. Kinsman! Yes. Gola. 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 Mm -hmm. You said you were a farmer? I, uh, just to the west outside the walls. Uh, ah. which, which is why this, uh, this javelin will come in real handy. I've, uh, been practicing with my pitchfork. Aww. It's a valuable place to grow and farm. I actually have land in a similar area. Ooh. Maybe when this is all over, we could talk about sharing what we have. Are, are you sure? I'm, I'm already indebted to you. Ah, nah, more than that. I need, I need help. Ooh, but oh, gladly. I owe you my life and more. Aww. Good. That's where I like people to be. Let's journey. <laughs> he means it with love, I assure you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Actually, he does. That's kind of funny. Yeah. I know, I know. It's so sweet to see, but it's <laughs> the word needs a little translation for the average person. So you head down to the south portal. 
Yeah. I'm drag you all head on down to the south. And you are going to end up on the southeast room. And inside you see crates. Tons and you Ooh, are I was gonna ask, here. do we wanna work out equipment whilst we're here? Yeah, <clears> if you wanna divvy up the, the loot. Oh, wait, I, I dropped my buckler in, this? so I now have a tasty yeah, AC we... of twelve. I'm do we wanna carrying most of open it. this I also? Don't think I need... mm -hmm. Yeah. Buck, is this the room that uh, had the extensive yeah, arcane signature? I was, gonna, I was gonna more distinctly, now that I can see in the room, use the uh, use magic awareness again. I yeah, think magic awareness. You can see that a lot of this. I have um, one more for long. It's a rest. not a very not a specific uh, school of magic, but you can tell that a lot of this is uh, alchemical in nature. Um, you can tell, but like magical makeup is a lot of common stuff used in alchemy to make potions and stuff. Mm. Uh, you can also see quite a bit of enchantment as well, perhaps on weapons or armor by your guess. However, a bunch of crates labeled classified, uh, approved personnel only in the bottom right corner. And you can see from your arcane awareness, a lot of transmutation and necromancy coming from that crate, those crates. Mm. Suspicious. You couldn't possibly be learning more this session. <laughs> I'm gonna communicate. I'm gonna communicate that about these ones over here. All right, let's pop some of those bad boys open. All right, you gotta stay back. Now. Let me. Let me. Oh, let's let pop. Oh, yeah. oh. So in the meantime, yeah. Fritz is opening that chest, and we will see chest number three. Bum, ba, da, da, bum, bum, bum. Inside. I'll say I did. I did some precautions before opening it, but we're good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Inside, you find boop, two items of magical. Uh, nature, Ooh. the soul Ooh. ring, and the mystic staff. <laughs> Whoa! Another ring. Sorry, a particular ring with a deep obsidian Ooh. stone that seems to give an uncanny reflection of whoever looks in it. As a bonus action, you may recover one level, first level spell slot by sacrificing one hit die or hit point per slot. Oh, that's really good. So basically, you roll a hit dice, uh, you roll a hit die, mm. reduce your health by that much, and you gain a spell slot for that Layra, how many? For like half the day. How mm. many, Layra? Okay, which one of you have more for uh, level one spell slots? Uh, I have I got four. I also have four, but I think druids are wisdom Rock, paper, casters, scissors. right? No, it's it's fine. I think the staff might do me more good anyway. Um, All right. I think I'm the only wisdom caster in the bunch. Where do you want the ring? Okay, I do rock, paper, scissors, but I also use Mage Hand so that I have a 66% chance of winning. He can't be defeated. Oh, do you want the Soul Ring <laughs> word? Yes. Okay, yes. and then, Lyra, you want the an epidemic staff made of expensive looking crystals gives you a wielder plus two wisdom. Yes, I think that would be very helpful for me because I think that yes. increases everything I roll whenever I cast a spell or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, okay. You yeah, it them. increases your <clears throat> spell attack roll. It increases your spell save DC. Great. Let me slap that sucker in my inventory. Mm -hmm. um. Now, it is a two. It is does require both hands. So that will mean you have to sacrifice your buckler. Ooh. Interesting. So trade off. I think that would also mean I can't use like a weapon. <laughs> right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Huh. Unless you huh. spend your uh, your free action swapping to another weapon, I guess, like mid combat. Well, I guess that that would make sense. Oh. <laughs> well, we'll see. Okay, so hold on. Sorry, let me load this bad boy up again. What's, it What's the movie? Was it the guy in the eight rings? The Disney movie. <laughs> no, Ten know. rings. The guy oh, in Shang the eight rings. No, wait. Yeah, Shang Chi. <laughs> no, I'm pretty. Twenty. <laughs> like, toe rings of power. <laughs> well, while you're figuring out what rings to wear, Buck is you're oh, yeah, trying sorry. to look over those crates, yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. So I will say, due to the precaution of seeing word get zapped by the uh, mm -hmm. the arcane cages, when you uh, approach these, you can see as you get closer, um, a sigil appears almost in proximity to your uh, closeness to the crates. And you can tell that the, these are magic you've seen before. These are um, glyphs of warding. Hmm. Um, Lyra, I don't know if you can dispel magic, but there's something freaky going on with these chests, and if I step close to these, I might get blasted. Uh, uh, yes, I might be able to do something about that. Um, I have... Sorry, there... 
Mystic Staff appears to be a custom item, and there's no real easy way for me to give the plus well, two wisdom. But you can well, just bump up your wisdom by plus two and just... Yeah, like, I'll, I'll just... I'll deal with that later. Yeah. Uh, but, sorry. I'm in the wrong part of my character sheet. Uh... <coughs> Yes, I have two more third level spell slots. I can cast another dispel magic. Right. Do you wish to? Yes. I could also let you borrow my ring. Huh. Yeah. But this is a third level Actually, yeah. spell slot. It won't matter. Well, it, okay. I think. No worries. Yeah, I'll just. Yeah. Boop. <clears throat> okay. Ooh. You dispel the glyphs on the crates, and Buck, you are free to pry them open. Before that, Lyra, here, hold my hand for one quick second. Yes. And then I'll use uh, bolstering magic. Oh yeah, because you're a wild, wild magic. Now you regain a level three cell slot. Ah, thank you. I now pronounce you friends and family. <laughs> Aw. <laughs> All right, very cool. Let me just modify my wisdom a little bit. Uh, and then I'll open my. Uh, so I'll hold your hand. I'll do like a quick prayer, and I'll bolster your magic, and then I will open a little crate. You pry Ooh. open the crate, and you can see that inside are some unmarked, opaque potion glasses. Opaque. Uncorking hmm. one reveals inside to be a swirly, dark, oily substance mm. akin to the blot. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, they are unmarked, they unlabeled, and uh, the glasses are very generic. Now, oh, when you say opaque, so opaque that like, if you were like, oh, time to drink from my regular opaque glass, I'm not even gonna look at what's in this uh, glass. Would they just be like, they're, are they that opaque? Yeah, they're like they're ink, practically like a mug. Like like if you, like a porcelain mug, you just can't see through it. Cause my thought is, is if I'm going to drink a Coca-Cola and if it's a <laughs> can of Coca-Cola, I don't necessarily am looking at the, the what's inside, I just be drinking it. Right. Well, yeah, vigilance. because the can is opaque, but these are glass bottles. Yeah. Normally. No, they're, they're not, I thought. No, they are. Right. They're, they're like potion oh, yeah. uh, glass bottles, like the vials. Oh, okay, yeah. I was con that's what I was confused yeah. about. But these so ones are you, opaque you can vials? See the dark these are, yeah, these are opaque, inside. but when you look inside of and see the contents of them, like peer your eye in, you can so, see the oily. This is a glass bottle from Mexico, mm -hmm. Coca-Cola. That's the point I made. That's I'm pointing and making it. There's a little miscommunication happening here. So normally you can see through a potion bottle because it's glass and you can see into yeah, it. Okay. These potion bottles you cannot see inside, not, but when yeah. you uncork them and open, you look in and see that it's a dark, oily, blot-like liquid. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right? right. Okay. Ex exactly. Thank yeah. you, okay. Red, for... Okay. No problem. Okay. Yeah. So these for are the Coca-Cola cans, not the Coca-Cola bottles. Uh, we're looking at cans here. Yes. I mean, if you want to think of it that way, sure. <laughs> it's the only thing that makes sense in my mind. We must I, I contextualize it's in Coca-Cola terms. Whether or not terms. the glass of the container you can see through, you cannot see through the shape of the bottle because it's full of oil. No, that's not why. The, the bottle no, itself no. is, like, opaque. Perfect. Yes. Okay, yeah. that, that okay. was my miscommunication. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry for having no, held that mistake. for so long. No, that's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Oh, I we'll got to talk about Coca-Cola for, for a good enough amount of time, so I'm good. I don't um, like that Coca-Cola. But you, you can see that in that crate, there are hundreds of them. Okay, Yeesh. I'm going to put a cork back on them. I'm like, I just want everyone to know, I'm in case we need this as proof of anything, I'm going to take one of these bottles. Is that okay with for uh, for all of us if I do that? Maybe we should take yeah, more I than mean, one. The yeah, bot's following was, us always. I was going to take two, and I'm no, going to no. give one to Lyra, and then one for you to give to um, Shamaya. Could, could I, I mean, I can hold all of them and give them to us later. I'm worried about us all having them in case there's some sort of issue. Mm, oh, I see what you mean. Like That's if true. Okay. I'll hold, can you like hold on three. to two extra? Yeah, I'll hold three of them. I'll take three bottles. I feel like Shemaya might want to know a lot about right, right, right. that. Yes, absolutely. I just don't, we need I just at least one of them for to, analysis. I'll take three bottles and I'll put them in my backpack. All right. You guys keep track of how many you're taking. Yeah, let me, I'll put them on here. I'll put them in my three. inventory. I'll put uh, blottles in my uh, inventory. I do want to stand next to this glyph um, and use like a hammer and a chisel or a crowbar to break the circle and see if that dispels the magic. Ah, breaking the circle. Um, you yeah. can see, Wait, that's yeah, the just only kind of swinging that's the only through one. it. Uh, it oh, it does not seem to be yeah. tangible. Um, okay, so it just sort of levitates if I make a scrape in the ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck. All right. Well, 
Hopefully these things don't know how to use teleporters. Uh, do we do we should probably burn this whole place though when we're done here, right? Wasn't, when we're was done. Was there one more area? We've There's got like possibly two. two. There yeah. may be more. We haven't done a full circuit. Yeah, let's do. A I don't know any a deep super villain locations that only have five rooms, one being a foyer. Hmm. There was a in the other room. There was another circle. There is, yes, indeed. In both rooms uh, where you fought the guards, there is a northern <laughs> teleportation circle as well. Yeah, we were mostly trying to get to this room because it pinged on the magic radar early. Mm -hmm. That's true. Um, what was it with? Necromancy? Uh, there was transmutation, like a lot of things. Ne transmutation, necromancy, evocation, yeah. necromancy. Uh, okay. Just that good old poison pot spoil. Yeah, yeah. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're brushing past the fact that we detected necromancy? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, that's the... I think we just the blot always that, like, the blot has, has like always a, necromancy a It's been like 30% yeah. of what the blot is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like a number yeah. of things. Supposedly... But the fact that we're getting necromancy from the bottles just means... It's, it's a pretty good indicator that... Alive. We think it's the well, blot. Well, yeah. it just, it's a pretty good indicator that whatever's inside the bottles is derived from the blot and that it has the same magic stink on it. Yeah. I like imagine I just, you for a little bit of a, a little bit of uh, assistance uh, and recapping. Um, a lot of Alinthi's scholars insist that the blot are not necrotic in nature. Uh, a yeah. few disagree with that, including the Weather Witch yeah. and Sergey of Pelitrios. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. That's what I was saying. This is a it's kind of a bigger thing that we're finding out that this is necromancy. But that we, sounds like wait, whoa, 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 whoa. no, this we, this is information we already like, had. It's just it's. Wait, I'm confused. I thought it wasn't. Uh, no, well, the exact nature of the blot is kind of weirdly uncertain because it registers as a lot of different things, and it's never yeah. just been necromancy. And there are people who argue that it's not really necromancy, but we already knew that like it showed up that way if you were doing a magic sense. Part of the yeah. metagaming oh, okay. uh, issue, uh, Poi, is that there are only, like, a there are a limited number of schools of magic. The ability that I have, like, lets you know what school of magic a certain magic item is before, but they don't... Sometimes it's difficult when you have a custom thing. It doesn't always neatly yeah. fall into, like, that specific okay, school. Okay, my bad. I I guess what I, I, I misunderstood is I, I thought it was kind of just, like, how do I put this? It's like, yeah, this is clear that we could make sense that this is necromancy but we haven't really confirmed it yet so i didn't want to yes be right. I it's know like that a that's, that's true whether or not it's necromancy has been a point of contention and debate among the scholars of alinthi including sergey you know a man mm. you met so, who is very very well versed in magic sorry i guess i'm trying to go off what my character would know not what gotcha. i can work out as yeah. a player it's okay i, I think the, the way that this situation seems to lay itself out is that there are um, the standard schools of magic that you would assume every spell can be cast through by channeling one of those schools. Mm -hmm. But the way that we seem to be learning is that you can actually pool these schools together and cast something using multiple strands of them, sort of like a fruit salad of different yeah. incantations. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Or it's, it's something that we just haven't charted yet and is similar to this school. I still think it's cool that we basically know that there is somewhat live blot in there. Yes. Now we have it in Neat. the pawn show. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now we're traveling with the blot. Oh, Just God, don't get hit time. really hard in the blot pocket. <laughs> yeah, Wait, the can blot, I? <laughs> the blot kit. Mm, I, I want to experiment, but I probably shouldn't. Go for it. We've <laughs> all been doing that. Okay. So we all have hearts on us, right? Oh, no. Yeah. I got my mm -hmm. ring. Can I hold the heart in f not too close, but in front of this blot and see if they follow it? Yes. You're going to do like indeed, a come to daddy they, kind You of can, thing? and indeed they do. They oh, that's fixate, horrifying. They fixate on you and like get very close to the arcane cage, just close enough that it doesn't zap them. So they know not to touch their intelligence. Oh, I'm sorry. We came back to the room with the, oh, yeah, with the blood yeah, in them. Yeah, My yeah, bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, are we doing well, the potion bottle or what? Oh, like, I, have, I have an idea for I, the experimentation. Because we knew um, the big blot was chasing us, wanted the hearts, and communicated with us. So the blot yeah. are somewhat intelligent, and the fact that mm -hmm. these smaller, yeah, lesser yeah. blot are also intelligent is interesting. And we know that they're trying to hide this information because they said they killed two people they were experimenting, well, a person they were experimenting on and the blot that was trying to possess her. 
because they were starting to communicate with each other. Yeah, so mm. I think that people or victims mm. or whatever, the, the blot is like, it's like an emotion. It's like anger, a hate, a rage. And when it consumes something or somebody like a location or a building or a tree or a person, it augments them and it fills them with that feeling. It just seems magnetized. To, and as I'm saying that, I'm kind of going back and forth, trying to be the closest one with hmm. the heart. So Lyra. maybe yes. they're only recently realizing that they can talk because they shouldn't be able to talk because it's not them talking, but the people. And I when think you, it's possible. Oh. When, word, when you get close to the cage and pace back and forth when you say shouldn't be able to talk, you hear a garbled, almost mm. vocal cords coming from the other side. And it does a pace almost mimicking your words shouldn't be able to talk, but it's so in unintelligible that it doesn't come across that way. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, new weird theory. theory. Mm -hmm. new well, theory. <laughs> we both got theories. No, mine is just that I have to sit down. <laughs> okay. New theory I... <laughs> passes out. <laughs> Lyra, yes? I'm not insane, but we've never encountered, apart from that one guy, We've never encountered blot of this size to be this intelligent before, right? We've never really investigated blotlings to see if they showed signs of intelligence. We, we did have that moment of conversation and none of them joined in. Um, I'm worried this blot might have actually been people and I've this is what happened. I've rather suspected that all blot when, was once people. Well, no, no, no. What I mean is people that in here, they have captured and turned into their own form of blot to then make into bottles. Um, Not it's just possible. the blot that's out there, organically manufacturing their own blot. I rather suspect that there's a few steps of the process that we're missing. The story that our new friend shared was very similar to the one Terellin told us. He was captured, <laughs> woke up in a strange place, sick. I suspect that the bottles of blot are responsible for his condition and they're being synthesized here. Although well, there are steps across, the I'm not sure. There's a pretty easy way maybe to test that theory. Um, I walk over oh, to the no. mage guard and I bring out a blottle. <laughs> oh. hey. You can see what? the mage guard, uh, he, he was dozing off a little bit, but like at your footsteps coming close, he just like, what, what, what are you, what? What 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 are you doing? I I scrouch down so I'm that I, I'm like at eye level with him and I hold up the uh, blottle in his eye, like in his line of sight. Do you want to explain what this is? Or else, or else you drink it. <laughs> he just looks over uh, to the other footman. The footman just shakes his head, <laughs> and he uh, the mage just sighs. It's a concoction that produces the new disease that's been spreading in Trevisetta. And I turn back and I turn back and look at and look, I turn back and look at the other three. I mean, this isn't surprising. That's kind of what I assumed. We extract It's what I knew I assumed correctly. We yes. extract them from destroyed uh, remains of the blot. And does this serve any grander purpose than simply expanding the Trevisetta workforce in the most unethical way conceivable? Oh, that's above my pay grade. Or rather, you extract them from defeated blot. How do you get so much? Well, how do you cultivate this? We go find them. Trevisetta's right by the border, and so is the that blot. An old Deosia. Tons of them. We hire a lot of mercenaries, uh, a lot of soldiers go on, beat them up, and collect the remains, and bring them back. Cool. I see. Hmm. Do you... Have you seen... So you've seen a lot of blot, right? The, these two behind us, a blot this intelligent, usually? No. I'm not sure. N none of them have been, at least not today. Uh, not until you came in. Not to metagame, but uh, we did get confirmation that these aren't, these are blots they harvested from outside. Like, yes. they're from yeah. near Sancho. I'm, so they, I'm these just are not like. I'm. No, I'm asking just are they usually this intelligent? Like, is this and the usual answer is, patterns? It's, right, but what I wanted no to say is that, like, here, yeah. that means that our theory that, like, this is blot that was made from people from here okay, is, like, yeah. not true. But, like, the. It was just the a silly thing. 
No, it's um, it's fine. I just wanted to be sure that we the know. the fact what we're that doing. they're evolving on a like areas wide scale. If they collected these well, from a region they're not in control of, and well, they're still evolving, that means it's out of these people's control it, now. It, I'm not certain they're miss, evolving. You're missing what they said. They didn't act intelligent until we were here. I believe they're reacting to proximity oh, oh, to the dragon hearts. To the hearts, yeah. Mm. Oh, what if we have all of them and we get to talk to them? I feel, sorry, <laughs> not to metagame, but I really am getting a major hunch that at the end of this game, we're just gonna be blot bros. I have also not been discounting that theory, but we'll get there organically. <laughs> all right, it's the journey. Okay. Let's go through the next right. area. Yeah, and we'll find let, out. Yeah, yeah, we need to we need to look around more. Thanks for the information. I will not make you drink this. <laughs> uh, thank the gods. Well, I haven't really. Don't thank the gods. If we need more information, I might have to come back. So oh. hold on, hold that thought. I killed the one god I met and ate his angels. Thank us. <laughs> <laughs> I keep forgetting about that. I actually did that, yeah. Yeah, yeah I did do that. <laughs> All right, I don't so. remember that. Wait, what? Yeah, I do that we, now. We, it wasn't act, it was the beholder that we killed in the little beholder. <laughs> oh, yeah. Room. But don't no tell word that it wasn't the god. Was you, I, there's no way to just. We, <laughs> <laughs> we were told we were going to meet gods, and we found the beholder. I mean, <laughs> sorry, that's a genuine argument. I can't. <laughs> yeah. So we can't through, prove it wasn't. You go through the north portal. North and portal. end up in what appears to be some sort of meeting room with a round table, various Ooh. different papers and signed documents uh, strewn throughout, uh, one chest unlocked and one chest locked, as well as one mm. teleportation sig sigil that whenever stepping it in, uh, this this lock is purely a, uh, S a um, simplification, but stepping it into it, it appears to not send you anywhere by, after experimenting. So this teleportation circle is locked to you by an unknown Interesting. force. Hmm. 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 Well, uh, I'd like to investigate the stuff on the table. Okay. Yeah. Investigating the stuff chest. on the table. <laughs> uh, we'll do. Chest. We'll do table first and then gem. chest. Yeah, no, go for it. So, on the tables, you mm -hmm. uh, find a few documents that seem to be in handwriting you actually recognize. You've seen somewhere uh -oh. before, but you're not quite sure where. You specifically, Lara, have seen. Um, hmm. And it reads as following. The recipients are unnamed. Letter one. Dear producer, the pilgrims have insisted on making their way to the old ruins south of Politrios. I'm writing to confirm that you have indeed taken care of the insignia problem on the cadaver there. Once your task is complete, we must have a lengthy conversation with your insistence on signing your covert projects. It's like you want this op uh, operation to be found out. Mm. Letter two in response to the first. Dear Lord, I assure you the production oversight was a simple mistake anyone could have made, especially trying to fulfill an order the king has made in such magnitudes. With all due respect, until you are capable of producing a military on the scale of mine own, I would expect you to not make such an accusation of incompetence of me, else you find, need find another, more meekly supplier. Regardless, I have dispatched an undercover agent to wipe the insignia off the cadaver unit, as well as given him a scroll of Wall of Stone to reinforce the shoddy walls of which you are responsible for that block off the rest of the ruins. Rest assured, this will be taken care of. Letter three. Dear producer, the pilgrims have found the rest of the ruins and your agent was killed by your own damn cadaver. So much for your competence. When you are finished with whatever shoulder rubbings you do in that boiling city of yours, send word to T that I need to speak with him immediately, in person, alone. Is this Lord Euphrasia's handwriting? It most certainly is. <laughs> Who's Euphrasia? Uh, she was the uh, weirdly oh, obstructive the lord who had the secret yeah. meeting with Lord Tehero. Yeah. yeah. I think yeah. when you and I both had our character offshoot, we we dunked on her. Was that mm -hmm. us? Mm -hmm. or, yeah, yeah, we were both yeah. on her. I think that's correct. Yeah. T. I got an inspiration T for yelling at her. Tehero. I mean, it's yes, Tehero. definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, who's? Oh yeah, the producer is the best hand lady. Gotcha, gotcha. What producer is best hand lady. Oh yeah, what's up with that? Oh yeah, uh, the table has a uh, crystal that levitates it and keeps it kind of at a nice reasonable height without the need for legs. Oh, so, the table doesn't have legs. It's like a standing nope. desk. Uh, hmm. the That's stylish. The table does not have yeah. legs. Uh, da, 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 let's see. The cadaver is. That's yeah, the cadaver. The, we found the the, the 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 big Robo Boy that mm -hmm. we fought that I was talking about earlier. Yeah. Okay. Who did it kill? I feel like we found the body of something it killed. 
but I can't remember if we knew we, any. We did. We I remember we had there to move like the rocks. We, we had to move the rocks out of the way for uh, mm. yeah. to get to it. I remember it that. It was Lord Sergei's friends, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. group. Well, th that's one of the reasons we went down in there. But we... Oh, yeah. yeah but those were the actual people he ended up killing. You're right. Yeah, Lord Sergei's mm. friends were, I guess, sent in there. Hmm. Hmm. Undercover. So, uh, Fritz, you also find a note of particular import mm -hmm. as well on the meeting table, and it reads as follows. Oh. A slightly stained note that seems to have been folded and unfolded many times, barely holding itself together. Dear Lord, mm -hmm. despite your inadvertently ra raising, uh, you inadvertently raising the pilgrim's suspicions with your comment to shut down Sergei's wishes to rid the blot for good, I believe we may have found a way to make up the misstep yet. The next time he or anyone proposes the permanent destruction of the blot, be sure to encourage it. We've no need of it anymore. My research team has discovered a new concoction, not one of the same make or powers as our uh, progenitors, but at the very least achieves similar results. Better yet, it may provide us a means to control the dragons more directly. All that's needed now is time. I will speak of it to you in person during our meeting. Speak of this to no one in the meantime. T. T. You reading these out loud? I assume well, so, yeah. yes. To Harrow? I mean, yes, these are almost yeah, certainly from yeah, Tarot. Yeah, we think. But why is this one of... Why did you say this one was known as to me? Oh, just because you're on that Yeah, you're on that table. side. There's yeah, like notes we're both all searching across the table. the table. That's why I was... Okay, that's why I was yeah. confused. Yeah, they're, they're kind uh, of yeah. like littered throughout. Okay. I'm passing these to you, Lyra, every time mm -hmm. I finish reading one. As for the chests... Mm -hmm. uh, fuck, you open that one. And this is... Chest number four. So this whole time has the blot just been a misdirection fear-mongering tactic. Then why did they have Ooh. them attack no, Satya I, when they did? Well, that was the Weather Witch acting. I believe that the blot is... Oh, who sent her? We never got a clear answer. She did seem to be something of a wild card. I do not believe that these people are responsible for the blot or have much power over it. As mentioned, they said that they didn't need it anymore, which makes me think it was something of a natural resource they were attempting to harvest from rather than anything they created in any intentional sense. Our, the memories we accessed when we explored old Deosia in the area with the throne indicates that the blot originated in that attack, perhaps. I don't think we ever got full confirmation of that, but it certainly looked like the people were transforming into it. But well, we know what, there's what, some connection between them and the dragon ritual of Old Deosia. Well, what what it what this what this says here about the progenitors of it? I mean, could it be possible that the blot was maybe an original attempt by the people who lived, you know, t to attempt to take down Alinthi, and they tried to come up with a way to control the dragons, and it resulted in the blot? The because dragons were the, of Old Deosia in the first place. Well, right. The, 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 and it, but. The, the just you know that same magic to try to either make or control could have led to the blot, and this is an offshoot of that. They've been studying the blot as a way to try and harness that magic, and they've come to it with this. And I'll hold up the the uh, the blottle. They're, they're somehow these people who are sick are connected to that. I do wonder what the purpose of infecting these people is. I wouldn't really call it an offshoot. I mean, would you consider my glorious self an offshoot of a dragon? It, it, it seems like the situation that we have here is that they started with this this curse of half-life, half-death, but not quite undeath, and the ball's been rolling ever since the pilgrims started, and now we've sort of reached this point where they are finishing their revolution. They are entering people. They're not just blobs. They're becoming something that can fight whatever they've been fighting this whole time. The blot has we been... We just happen to be the ones that deal with it. The blot has been capable of possessing cadavers for, I think, as long as we've known about it, but... But not as articulately as they have recently. Their intelligence, I think, is a result of whatever magic of the dragons that connects them together. I don't but have the shape of it. that's been here this whole time. There've no, it so hasn't been... Pilgrimages. It hasn't been near them this whole time. I... I think there are machinations at work here, but I think that the Blot and the Underthrone are moving separately from one another, possibly in opposition to one another. And the fact that the Blot has an intelligence seems to be something that they want to keep hidden and destroy whenever they find it. 
that just kind of sounds like a parent with a child gone awry. But which is the parent? Uh, regardless, I mean, I think we have enough evidence that yeah. things have gone incredibly wrong here. And it, it, we have to, I think we still need to search the rest of this place before things go south. I agree. I think that now that we've compromised this place, I would be surprised if it were still here if we came back. I just think the bot's out of control and it wants to talk to us and that's really fun and exciting. I uh, I don't entirely disagree <laughs> with you. However, I don't think the Underthrown Society is responsible for the blot. I think that the blot I think, is far I older think than used them. to be in control of it. I th it's, 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 is that fit? What do you say? I'm sorry. Uh, I, 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 be... I think that the blot is a result of the old war, either a weapon gone wrong or a I backlash gone wish. wrong. Perhaps. Yeah. Well, that's that's they, the thing. They like it's like a prayer that was a backlash to what we have now. I think uh, when when we found those ghostly memories and the last memories of the Prabath, his last consideration was the destruction of Alinthi, as his people were being destroyed around him, and he, in some form, ascended into dragonhood, as far as we can tell. Hmm. With the white dragon scales that we yes. have. Yes, my assumption is that the blot is a either a result of that wish for destruction of Alinthi or a result of some attack that Alinthi used to defeat Old Theosia. I don't think the Underthrown Society created the blot and I don't think they have control over it. I think that they've been attempting to leverage its connection to the dragons to strengthen their hold over Alinthi, but I'm not entirely sure how. And to what end? Probably Ooh. control of Alinthi. They, they seem to be very politically motivated. <laughs> I mean, they've had it for a while, it seems. They've had a form of it, but Lord Tejero seems very frustrated at the limitations of his own control. That's true. I think that he would find it much easier to command his various vassalhoods if he were also a dragon, or had direct control of the other dragons that hold positions of leadership in their communities. If he were the sole arbiter of the restoration yeah. of Quarencia and the, the life tree, he would have untold power, something beyond his current scope of simple political machinations and capitalism. That's a really good point because, you know, he could just be seeking to be a dragon and that's enough for some people, but that's one of five or six or however many there are. But if he had everyone's hearts with him on top of being a dragon himself and being the lord of this fucking place. I look down at much. I look down at Fritz. My head hurts. <laughs> I yeah, I don't know. We're I full of conspiracy why. walling over here. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I'm sitting over Making here. Making the friggin' kobolds and... game. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, as sometimes you sit somewhere and you hear cons like conspiracies, and your brain just kind of just throws something at you. I got my own little. I don't know why, but my brain is Shoot. like. I don't think it makes any sense. My brain is telling me the blot is of dead dragon. I think the blot may very well be uh, connected, at least to that first dragon, the Prabath of Old Deosia. Mm -hmm. If they have the ability to control, the, if this thing that allows them to at least have some amount of control, how, how do I put this? If they have a modem, modicum of control over the blot, and that might lead to a modem of, modicum of control over the dragons, then the blot and the dragons are, I mean, clearly, they're connected. It seems like every step we take, they're more and more connected. So we need to continue on this path to figure it out. Also, word, your your yeah. rather worrying point earlier about how the death of a dragon may be necessary for the ascension of another one. We don't entirely know what happens when a dragon dies, and we don't know if that would result in some form of blot either. It happens often. I. I like Fritz's idea that it's like a dead dragon. I think in some level of the inverse, it could be that dragons are like an ascended form of blood, but I, I, like you said, we, we need maybe two more yeah. scraps, also, two more you wanted, nice little sentences. You wanted to uh, oh, unlock yeah, that chest. Yeah, ago. apologies. You were all talking uh, about <laughs> we, yeah, were, yeah. we went full Pepe Sylvia on that. Uh, yeah. I would like to give everyone a potion of healing, and Buck, you opened a chest y full of potions. Yes. Yeah, I was gonna I was gonna keep the uh, potion of hill giant strength. Um, That's for you, mm -hmm. yeah. But there's we got a spell what about that uh, the buckler. armor you have? Oh, oh yeah, the blade mail. armor. Uh, I think I gave that to. 
No, I, I so shouldn't I mean, have that. Um, I can wear it. Sorry, what kind of cool. potion of yeah, healing is it? Wear. Like regular, greater? Uh, I'm giving everyone a standard potion of healing. Also, Sweet. all the contents of all chests are in your journal as well. They are yeah, chest yeah. one, two, yeah, three, and see them there. So word, uh, uh, yeah, you want to pick that lock? Word. It is a locked <laughs> chest. Oh, okay. Ba ba boom. Oh yeah, easy. easy. Okay, yeah, you easy. disable. <laughs> you disable the explosive mechanism that the lock was oh, Lord. connected Sheesh. to. And inside, ring. you find a couple of things. You find a little crossbow, a big old bag of money, and a mysterious note. Man, robbing and these guys has been going great so far. You can, uh, we can worry about that uh, later. Uh, okay. up. I do like Blackhawk. I mean, yeah, Blackhawk. Mysterious Hawk. note intrigues me. And the mysterious note of which you cannot read because you are word. That's true. <laughs> no, well done. I'll, I'll just take the gold fully for now and then, yeah, note other things. Mm -hmm. um, real quick, uh, Joe, does the blade mail impose um, uh, disadvantage, disadvantage on, on stealth? Dexterity yes, check? it does. It is shiny. <laughs> okay. okay. But how cool will it be to have that on under the poncho and then just like shred it when you get smacked? Yeah, I would. I think I'm gonna still wear it. So also, what's your how's how's your time man. looking, Phil? I would like to maybe wrap up soon. Okay, possible. we can. I now say yeah. Now's a good place to wrap up because yeah. there's still a quite nice a bit left. Breather. Mm -hmm.